Hi, everything. Okay. Okay. Oh, that's the wrong, the wrong one. Oh, the damn title didn't update correctly. Oh, well, eh, shit. All right. Hello, everybody. And welcome back to another edition of Star Wars Galaxy Heroes Jedi Academy with your boy Ranger J 1999, the show where we are here to answer all your questions about Star Wars Galaxy Heroes. With myself and whoever else decides to show up from all the great content creators and guests we have had on over the many years. It's an open Zoom call. They jump in whenever they are able to. You know, they've got life and fans. Doof. Um, and uh, yeah, so good morning to everybody. Good morning. Give your greeting to me. Give your greeting to everybody in the chat. This is an interactive chat to how you guys can get your questions answered here. Uno memento, poor favor. Uh, good morning, Kimi. Hit me, hit me one more time. Good morning. Good morning, Jason Hobby says happy Saturday, Ranger and Skewers. Word to the mothership. That's right. So, uh, Jedi Academy is a show where we answer all your Star Wars Galaxy Heroes questions. It's a QA show. If you have a question that you would like to post to myself or anybody that pops in the Zoom call on the panel, uh, hello, what else, honey? Three, all you have to do is put your questions in chat. However, the caveat is, is that if you have a question you want us to, to answer and you want me to actually see the damn question, make sure you put the word question in front of your actual question comment or statement pretty simple if you don't do that then i might miss it because sometimes we have a ton of people in chat and that's just the way the cookie crumbles so if i miss it and that's okay just reformat it put it back in the chat if i do happen to miss one don't be shy stay all ranger hey you missed this i'm like oh i'm sorry i'll answer that question now so that that happens i am only human trick me do i not bleed okay uh, so that's how this works. Uh, if you're on YouTube, we are dual streaming on YouTube and Twitch. So if you would please need your help. Uh, if you're on YouTube, hit the thumbs up. Subscribe if you're not already so you can get those notifications. Share with everybody. Watch all the videos through. Uh, same thing on Twitch. Hit the heart. Hit the follow button. If you want to give subs, you're more than welcome uh, while we're streaming. Uh, if you want to see me do a morning shoey and help me with all the charity stuff I do for the costume and things of that nature, uh, feel free to hit the uh, donation bin and I'll do a morning shoey of nasty, shitty ass fosters and a beautiful shoe provided by Desi Jingle Schnerf Schnerf. So there's that. Uh, and then, yeah, um, outside of that, some other news and notes. Uh, we should be doing D&D &D tonight. I. We'll verify, but I'm pretty sure we're doing D&D tonight. That'll be 8.30 Eastern, 7 Central on the RSG Variety Gaming Channel. If you're not following us over there, you should. Um, and then on top of that, we have uh, coming up May the 4th. Um, we are going to, I'm going to be a part of the, here in the Birmingham area, the city of Homewood. I'm going to be part of the Homewood Parade and uh, Carnival and Celebration of Homewood that's going on that day. It's a big day event here in Homewood. And I'm going to be in the full Beskar costume, hopefully with all the bells and whistles. I do have the, the whistling birds ordered. I do have the digital display ordered. It's a matter of when they get here. Um, the costume looks fine without it, but it'll, be, it'll look better if I do get it. So, yes. Uh, and so, I, if you're in the area, you want to come hang out and get your picture taken with me that day. Uh, as I do my stuff, you're more than welcome. I'd love to hang out with you. Um, and, uh, yeah, please come on down. Please come on down to the Homewood Birmingham celebration parade thing on May the 4th of all days. So I'll be representing the RSG, ACS, all that stuff. Uh, I'm going to be doing it with Sasquatch Games and Toys here uh, in the Homewood area. Uh, and uh, yeah, let me go see that guy today or tomorrow and go, hey man, I need more late days, you son of a bitch. All right. Uh, so yes, oh good morning. Now it's so many problems in the LBC. It's hard being it's hard being R double O double B. What's going on, LBC Rob? This is morning, morning, morning. What's going on? Oh, you know, just another typical Saturday morning. And and we'll do this and, and I will uh so the the plan is we're gonna answer your questions for an hour, hour and a half. We get a lot of GAC questions. That goes with the territory. Um, and that's fine because we will um we're going to do some GAC. Uh, I, you know, we'll, you guys can not only see your, your questions answered, but then we can go in and we can 
show you some of the tricks of the trade and stuff like that. Had a lot of fun last night on uh, Scribe's channel, uh, Scribe, Scribbles. Had a lot of fun doing that on Friday night. I mean, not stream Friday night. If Scribbles is going to be doing that time and we can just hang out and be goofy and have fun and how about a fellow homie creator, then I'm okay with that because we go pretty light and it's a lot of fun and punishing him is, is great. And then making Karthik uh, bleed uh, <laughs> so we play his account is always good. Uh, R2D2 says Star Wars is a trash, says the person named R2D2. I don't think it is. You can't call yourself R2D2 and then say Star Wars is a trash. But if it's not your favorite, I understand. There's other other great sagas out there. Don't just, I just don't follow Star Wars. Star Wars is my number one there, R2D2. Um, but I love Warhammer. I love Lord of the Rings. I love all kinds. I mean, I'm an anime junkie. So, oh, I get it. If it's not your favorite thing, that's fine. But it's not trash. You just happen to not like it. Oh, ought to. <laughs> <laughs> You're playing the wrong message. <laughs> uh, I, do, I have no idea what I'm doing. So yeah, get your questions in. That's how it works. Q and A show. Whatever questions you have, get those in. And of course, you know the rules of the quorum. Don't be a dickhole. Uh, don't ask. We tolerate a lot, but. Mm hmm. I was having a good morning. Good. Oh, Desi Jingle Schnarf Schnarf's here. Hello, Desi Jingle Schnarf. Rebel IRX over. Or, I'm sorry, I say IRX. It's Rebel RX. I'm so sorry, brother. Uh, good morning over on Twitch, my man. What's going on? What's going on, brother? You know, fool. So we have Desi Jingle Schnarf Schnarf and Rebel over on uh, Twitch. Yeah, give us give your greetings over on Twitch. Same thing as apply. There you go. How dare you, Cesaro you Chewbacca, you have orange hair and your chin. No, it's Donald Day Trump there, R2-D2. How dare you? I think you're from China. Check his microphone. I'm pretty sure R2-D2 an imposter. Good evening, Adahan224. What's going on? Uh, Rebel says, not much, man. Just got back home. Was out with my girl. That's good times right there, brother. Hell yeah. Good time. Good quality time with the girl. That's fine. Yes, I do have, I am, I do suffer from gingivitis, R2-D2, but, you know, that makes me one of the chosen, not one of the condemned. So there you go. Uh, that's right, Chewy, he just doesn't understand. Uh, and you didn't see us in the South Passage there, R2-D2, who expressed her true feelings for me. All right. Uh, All right. So get your questions. I know we're first waking up. I'm still just getting my Starbucks and getting going too. I know you a lot. Of, a lot of you guys have been asked about the arm. Arm is fine. You can see I've got the brace on here. Um, uh, I have been able to start working out again, and and the rehab's going well. Still a little bit of pain, but the uh, the brace is helping tremendously. Um, and I just have to let it heal and slowly build up to what I was doing before. So if you guys don't know, I tore my bicep up and not just this part, but here and here, basically. I just, so yeah. Uh, are you talking about a book or series? Uh, it depends. I mean, I, I, when it comes to any series R2-D2, um, like uh, I go all in on it. Like Lord of the Rings from the movies to the, the to everything, right? Uh, for Warhammer, the whole deal. Like I get into the lore, I get into the, all this stuff. Yeah, I'm, I'm just a big nerd, man. I'm a badass nerd being an ex-army ranger, but you know, you know, <laughs> mm. sure hope they didn't see us in the South Passage. That's right. That's right, Desi. <laughs> they expressed her true feelings for me. That's when Desi says, well, you stuck up, half-witted, scruffy-looking nerf herder. And then I do the Peter Griffin family guy thing where I just punch her knock her on the ground and be like, you can't use those words. Only we can use those words. Nina, the haunts. Now, enemies uh, like you know Star Wars. I collect the figures and stuff like that. Um, but like, uh, I don't. I don't do. I've got a little bit of Warhammer stuff, and I've enjoyed it in the past. Uh, I used to do a lot of Blood Bowl, um, but I, I, I really just get into you know like anime. I, I just I read the manga and I watch the anime as well. You know, 
as much as possible because I just it just it, oh I love it. Um, but you know, like Lord of the Rings got into the movies. I mean, I read the books when I was a kid and I got hooked. So yeah, it's a lot of good stuff out there. You know, um, so whatever you like, man. Star Trek. I like Star Trek. I'm not afraid to say it. I think it's great. Shrek Harvey over on Twitch says, "Well, hello there, hello there." Glad to have you here, Shark Harvey. Neil Venom says, hello, Ranger, Desi, and Skewer. Since Desi is here and I, and now I have an interesting fact for you. The next time you have a dollar bill in your hand, take a good long look at it and think to yourself, there's a good chance this dollar has been in a stripper's, uh, okay. Uh, I left it there because I didn't want to finish that. Okay, dude. It's too early in the morning for that crap, Neil Venom. My God in heaven. What's, oh, way. Yes, I love it when Voldemort uh, killed Picard in, uh, uh, and then the um, the Cylons invaded. Yeah, that was one of my favorite episodes. What else in your free? Strix says, dude, I've never bought a subscription for you, but I have a two months for free. <laughs> it's 6 p.m. here. Well, you're in Jolly Old England, yes. But Neo Venom's not. He just, he's just being, he's being, uh, he's being Neo Venom. Yeah. Uh, yeah, that's what Desi wanted to read first thing in the morning, Neo Venom. Mm. Mm hmm. But you get a point, R2D2. That, uh, we all have a hobby, a passion, right? The collections, things that we like, right? The different things as people that we just like to, to be involved with. And uh, whatever it is, works. You know, Star Wars is my number one thing. I adore it. I love it. Uh, been a thing that's got me through a lot of tough times, you know? Um, but yeah, I like nerds. I mean, play magic the gathering and all that kind of stuff so yeah so good morning to everybody in twitch good morning to everybody over on youtube get your questions in first come first served uh so we'll answer questions for a little bit then i'll do my gac and you guys can still ask me questions while i'm doing gac we get a lot of questions about gac so i just show my gac now on saturdays because it just makes sense see what's happening and get it in real time. So there you go. We'll see what guys come on here. Uh, so yeah, if you have questions, get them in. Uh, we got the new Fade Links in the game this week um, with a <laughs> Galactic Challenge Omicron. Please don't. Um, I did go as hard as I could on him. I uh, should buy tomorrow if I'm not mistaken yeah i'll have him at six stars and then the next few days i'll get him as high as i can so I'm trying to finish these guys off for the raid and we still got padme and and the new qui-gon and obi-wan kenobi gets coming in so yeah we got we got a lot on our plate right now right we got a lot of stuff um i know tv tw's going on for you guys this weekend good luck i don't usually do tw on the weekends on certain weekends because i'm just busy doing stuff i just don't have time and, I'm not, and my guilds you know it's like if you're gonna join you go all in and if you can't join then don't join i'm like yeah i have stuff to do and we got conquest start on monday so we'll continue our our trek through conquest on questing across the universe You're moving to Twitch, says Desi. I can't multitask this early on a Saturday. I know. It's hard looking at two chats. Her brain's melting in front of her eyes, everyone. Oh, my God. Poor Desi. Poor Desi Jingle Snare Snare. But the other good news is we only have a couple more battles and we're done with threes. Man, oh, man. The efficiency wars have been real. Uh, Neil Vince says, my plans for the day are to find people that created the GL Ray Ultimate Tier and introduce them to a Carolina Reaper Pepper Enema. Ooh, the Enema. I was, I was thinking, oh, I've eaten lots of those. But not that way. Yeah, that might be not good for them. Which is what you're, what, what, why you're doing it, yeah. So good morning to everyone. Good morning, good morning, good morning. So yeah, get your questions in, comments, it describes complaints, whatever uh, is going on in your life. I got a busy day today, so we're going to be going fast and furious. Oh, so good. And then we got D&D &D tonight, too. Oh, and I found a new sound set system set up for the helmet for the Mando costume. I'm going to uh, get those parts ordered, see if I can get that up and running uh, before May the 4th so I can actually talk to people and they can hear me sound like the Mando. 
the other system is just too bulky and stuff and uh. all right all right uh good morning to everybody well good afternoon and good evening to some of our viewers who are over in europe or england and i'm gonna suppose a chill a little bit of gray in the morning or the afternoon i should say So yeah, get your questions in, and you have my undivided attention. This is what we do here. This is what we do, god dang it. Uh, what are the events for today? I haven't even looked. Well, besides the Gungan shit. Darren Droid, Military... Ooh, Military Might's going on. Let me get some, uh... Let me get some free crap. You know what? I'll save my free crap when we get online. Yeah, it's not right. Oh, and there's a lot of stuff going on today. Okay, there's a few a few things going on today. Pretty cool. Pretty good. Oh, Mr. Bones here. Mr. Bones Rotlin says, good morning, skewers. Ha ha, that's a good one. Glad to have you here. Nathaniel Morgan says, Twitch is more fun, but you have, you have TT Premium. Okay. Malikos says, what else? 73. Yes, Malikos indeed. Kimmy, question. How do you beat a Ray squad with the insane Datacron on Holo? Yeah, Malikos. Although last night we threw a lot of rocks. For some reason, it didn't work last night. That was pretty, pretty crazy. Neil Venom says on Twitch, I saw a vid recently of a guy's Lego set. He had at least one of every official Star Wars Lego set ever made. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I've seen those too, Neil Venom. Yeah, I know. I mean, people that's, I mean, I, I've, I've watched videos of different collectors of different uh, stuff that you can collect, like Hammer or Transformers, G.I. Joe, all that kind of stuff, man. It's pretty awesome. So, I'm doing slowly, but surely I'm getting my Star Wars collection up and running. You see, I've got a display behind me. Wait a minute. Hold on. Wait a minute. Let me put my finger in it. It ruined your GAC, Kimmy. I'm sorry, hon. That noise can only mean one thing. Invasion. Or Carthaginicus is doing this. Who's not talking. He's decided to join oh, us. But not... Say something again. You say something again. Okay, there we go. There we go. Hey, Dollar, using the sexy Twi'lek um, tactics, the Thundercats. Uh -oh. If you don't know, Dollar, you need to know. Hello, Karthik. We can hear you. Why is Carthric? Yeah. <laughs> I'll do you one even better. Uh, because. Mr. Bone says, don't put your finger in Carth. It will stink after. No, Carth takes showers and stuff. He's very clean. Yeah. Something, something, something. <laughs> yeah. Right. I'm afraid the shield generator would be quite operational when Carth arrives. How are you this morning, Mr. Karth? All fine. I, uh, the uh, opponent on my main account swiftly cleared. <laughs> I'm really shocked as how strong your defense is. Well, he, but he only had like two GLs on defense, right? And yeah. then everything else was like really trashed here. And but it's, he's an efficiency fighter. He doesn't change anything. He takes six GLs offense, most of the good teams. And, like, in all honesty, the only way we probably would have got him to make a mistake is if we had played a little better. Well, yeah, we did the Ray fight, and I wasn't really paying super attention. I just let uh, oh, Scribe there were a couple. There were a couple of misplays, and it's, and it's just it's nuanced stuff that you have to be paying attention to. Like, you don't use Malikos's first special. I did notice that. 20, I didn't say anything. Yeah. 20 stacks of um, whatever the red debuff the is. The repo it thing, automatically yeah. Sets the cool, yeah, it automatically resets the cooldowns on the throwing the rocks. So you want to wait on that. And then yeah. there was like another time when we could have thrown Sears a uh, big hit and we didn't. Um, I know one was during the alt, but the other one was when when she was free of it and could have at it's least really knocked good. somebody low enough. Yeah. So, anyways, just it was just a few misplays on that one. The Iden fight, 
like there was a reason in, in the write-up I had like four different options and it was because like I didn't really know what I wanted to use there yeah and I was hoping we would clear the ground game before we got to that part of it <laughs> <laughs> so we tried to clear north and then that's what kind of started biting us in the butt a little bit but oh well it's it's what starts to happen when you're playing at the tippy tippy top where you have no got good data yeah. yeah it says oh i'm just wondering if you have any no i do not collect thundercats love thundercats but i don't collect any of them i don't collect gi joes or any of that other stuff. i'm just all star wars all the time maybe one day but that day is not right now uh he Zylo that, as you do you have things that aren't Star Wars behind you. Like what? I don't know. I know your your Amazon gift store has some of the the Gundam Gundam robots or whatever. Yeah, but I haven't got any, so I haven't done I mean oh, I've got okay. I've got a few all transformers, right. but I you know that that is what it is. Um, all right, all right. But I don't have anything really to you know, of, of mostly Star Wars, okay. Ninety nine percent Star you. Wars. No. Yeah, but I'm not even displaying any of that other stuff, right? I just haven't even got into it. So Star Wars is enough right now, and that brings me a lot of passion. Zylo takedown. Now that's the name I've not heard since well before you were born. Zylo, what the hell's going on, man? Welcome back, my friend. Good to have you. He says good morning. Good morning. Neil Venom says I'm amazed at my son's creativity. He took the Lego Obi Wan Starfighter set and built in a miniature ven Venator out of it. Sadly, he wouldn't let me take a picture of it. So I'm going to get another Obi Wan and have him build me one. Oh, there you go. Very nice. Super cute. Like father, like son. Legos, anyone? <laughs> oh, I rhymed there. A little crapo, and I didn't even know it. So yes, we will show the Ufu Ray fight for you, Kimmy, and other people here in a little bit. Um, uh, I love Desi's response. Wouldn't let you. <laughs> oh, uh. Zyla says, "Hope you were all doing well. We hope you're doing well." Zyla, what's new with you, brother? Uh, Dollar says, "I don't have a big collection. Got some McFarlane Wow figures and a human skull. Not still not as extensive as yours. Yeah, I mean, that's okay. Mm -hmm. That is old school, Nathaniel Morgan. He's over in Twitch saying hi to everybody. I mean, uh, we are doing well, man. Dollar, you have missed a lot, my friend. But you're here now, and that's all that matters. Ugh. Did you just fart? Oh, I did." <laughs> just like what the <laughs> okay uh, oh, God. enjoy that mm. you should can't smell it I mean you can bask in your own ambiance I, yeah. I don't care I know Dad's just like oh my god Garth. yeah <laughs> Jesus Christ oh my god yeah it is some old school stuff with Zylo here oh uh, hope you're doing well Zylo Oh my goodness. So Aaron McLaugh M M M McLaughlin Laughlin that up Aaron. Says, is this the dork channel? That's right. You've come to the right place there, Aaron. This is where the dorks hang out. It is We are a bunch of Star Wars nerds and dorks and, and just nerds and dorks in general. I used to jump on airplanes for my kid. What can I say? I like my nerd shit. <laughs> uh, oh, goodness. No more uh, mic clicking now, but Karth is a little gassy. It's a fair trade. That's true, Mr. Bone. Yes. Hey, first time chat over on Twitch from Lord Vader, best GL. It says, what's going on, gang? What's going on to you, buddy? So this is uh, just busy with the uh, fam. Have two boys now starting a new chapter in my life. Uh, congratulations, my friend. Uh, Aaron says nothing wrong with that. Enjoy, fellas. Of course, and we're glad to have you here, Aaron. Stick around, ask questions. We do. We answer. We answer questions here. This is a Q and A show. Feel free to hang out, Aaron. We're glad to have you. Thank you for stopping by. Appreciate Sometimes you. answer questions intelligently. Well, we will try to be intelligent. I can <clears throat> guarantee that. Neo says uh, my son is very creative, but it's hard to get show off his work. I that happens. Adhan two two four. Good evening, my friend. Over on YouTube, this question: Which team to build, Star Killer or Malakos? Assuming seven star, no gear, mods or Zetas. Ooh. I mean, the question is: Do you have Malakos unlocked? Hmm. Because if you don't, and you got to get him on proving grounds, 
than Starkiller. <laughs> if you have them unlocked, then Seer Malakos is a much better. Short you don't time. need Starkiller for for it for fives. Mm -hmm. Um, and Starkiller basically right now with the current Datacron set has a really hard time fighting Ray, which is like his number one use. So at least for the next few months, he's kind of out of commission. Yeah. I mean, it's just one of those things. It's an easier farm for Starkiller. There's no craziness in there. And three of the four characters are Cantina. So that's why we usually recommend Starkiller as a, he says, yes, all stairs, okay, so, so all things equal, all characters are seven stars, level one, gear one. Then go go Malikos. If you have all those characters unlocked, you do the Ufu team first. Don't get me wrong, I love me some Star yeah. Karth, but it's not the Ufu team. No, well, the, the advantage of the Ufu team is it's it's succinct and complete, right? Because yeah. only one of the characters from Star Killer goes to the Star Killer team, which is Mara Jade. So you still need to build up. Uh, light side online force user and a Jedi tank for yeah. the team as well, and then EP, which I mean, that shouldn't be that bad because he's also a GL requirement, so R7 to him isn't that big of a deal. Yeah. Um, but the Seer team is just more succinct, it's all it's all done, one and done. So I would go with Seer Malikos because they're they're what they counter is a longer list than Star Killer does now. Star Killer is getting too hamstrung by the the mechanics that in play with the current Gatacron sets. Yeah. Neo Venom Ranger, before I forget, I unlocked Terrible Tornado and One Punch Man. Very nice. Yeah, I'm saving all my tickets right now. I mean, every time I get 10 of the one, I, I roll, but I haven't got anything good in a while uh, for the SSSR characters. Um, but I'm waiting. F my big push is I'm saving the, 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 the punch, the black background punch tickets, whatever they're called. I've got 44. I'll wait till the next batch just comes out where you can use crystals. I'm saving my crystals for that. And then I will, I want metal bat, but then I'm hoping that when I make those pulls with that, uh, those tickets that I get something else, like I need a new leader for Genos is just not cutting it. I need, I need, <laughs> I need a leader, man. Oh my God. But that's awesome. She's she, yeah, she's she's ridiculous. Congrats, man. Lord Vader, best justice, bro. My F and G A C opponent is nine million and I'm one point four million on my alt and he full cleared. Well, of course he did. You're gonna get those matchups there, Lord Vader. Um I mean it's just the way the system's set up, man. I mean, even in our Karth, not so much. He's at the tip of the spear, but for me, like I get those fights where, you know, I'm in Kyber one and, and someone drops down, they have 2 million more GP than me, which is a big deal in Kyber one. It makes it, it just makes it a tough goddamn fight. Now at lower tiers, it gets even more crazy. Like where you're at, it's just the way it is. You're going to have those fights where you get matched up, um, with someone that's just got more toys and you do the best you can. Sometimes you just, I, I, it's like, just, just do like I do salute. Congrats. I'll move on to the next fight. And, um, you know, and not get think about it. You know, just, just keep rocking. Yeah. Is there some questionable relic choices though? Uh, yeah, but nine million is nine million. And you know, some people will run their accounts a certain way. So yeah, I know it. It's not fair, it, it, but it is what it is. I mean, I, I mean you want to tell you it? It's nonsense. But you just you, have you to. Can't, you, you can't do anything about it. You can't get out of it, man. It's like there's nothing, nothing to say or do. It's like you're stuck behind the fact that um, they dropped is where they did, and it's just who you have to face. It's how the, it's not even matchmaking. Like it's the, it's not even you can't even call the current GAC stuff matchmaking. It just takes okay, you all are within the same ranking of each other. You all now fight. So yeah, it I really matter. Yeah, you should be in Kyber Four, but I mean, some people just. You got to understand, some people do not give a crap about GAC. They just don't. They just go in there, they do a fight, and then they just don't care. They're more about the other parts of the game or collecting or whatever it is, right? But unfortunately, because of the way the GA system is set up, and especially if you are doing well, you're going to run into a beast like that. It's just the way it is. You know, uh, I wish we've talked about different ways that they could fix that, but it hasn't happened. So for now, we just have to, we have to suck it up. You know, so, you know, yeah. Oh, Xylo, brother, you've missed a lot of characters. The amount of characters that are in this game. We've got Gungans now. Jar Jar's coming. It's not, 
Not the happy day for me. For many of the Star Wars Galaxy Heroes community, yes. I am working on them. We got to because it's going to be that. I gotta tell you, Karth, man, the, the drop rate on staff is trash. I mean, that's it's what it's exactly the way it's always going to be, man. Like I'm upset with that. Doesn't change anything with no, how they're going to do. Coming today. Yeah. He, Jar Jar won't be here for another few weeks at least. Uh, but yeah, it's it's My, just the yeah, drop rate on Canteen has been horrible. But I'm going to keep doing it, Karth. I'm I'm a man of my word. I mean that 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 tracks though. They they have they have um. It's it's always how it goes when especially we got like double drops event. Like there's always something that feels like it's screwing up somewhere, and so it's like it's just going to be what it's going to be. You're, it's a 16 drop too, right? It wasn't going to be anything done quickly. No, I mean, it, it, but I mean, I thought it'd be a little bit better. I mean, I, I yesterday I pulled like a six on a 20. I'm like, come on, man. That's bad, man. Yeah, but I mean, it's still better than a hard farm. So <laughs> it is better. Yeah. It's just, it's just like, like I, I've been looking at I'll, the drop rates. I'm like, man, come on. It's going to be a hot minute before I get step done. But, you know, what two weeks? I mean, you still have out. like two weeks till fives, yeah, till five comes out. So, so it's like you got time. I'm not worried about it. Yeah, so it's just it's just one of those annoying things that happen where you're just like, okay, you know, it's kind of like profundity versus executor. Nine times out of ten, you go in and then rock that ass, Karth, and then that tenth time, dodge, dodge, no assist, and you lose. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, god damn it! Why is the RNG got to be so brutal in this game sometimes, man? Oh. I hate it so much. Yeah, no, that's that was like my only like hope of redemption last night was that the opponent would screw up on fleet or get screwed on RNG, and that did not happen. That did but not that's happen. just that's just how it goes. Like, it goes. There's a reason why profundity versus executor is only in like an 85 percent win rate, and it's because the RNG on that is just enough. It's just enough. Uh, Marco says, "Bro, thanks for the bro Katang tutorial. You're welcome, man. A lot of people, a uh, car man, that thing blew up. I was looking at YouTube the other day. I'm like, where are we getting all these views from? I forgot about the bow event was actually gone, right? Because it's been on back so much. <laughs> they shot up like a motherfucker. So I'm glad that the guide's out there for you guys, Jim Marco, and that it's uh, helping you out, man. I and mean, Karth did, did a lot of work on that, and uh, people, were, it's been helping a lot of people, Karth. We've we've helped the community yeah. once again." Yeah, the the event ones are always like they're just a cadence of like when the event releases they always get like tons of views then it goes like then there's like no traction of it for you know however long the difference is in between yeah. like that was the hard part with like like when we rushed to do the, the first time it's like we didn't know it was going to come back every month so it's just like all right well yes <laughs> yes good yes but uh we that's why we do those big guides out there for you guys we've got one for zepho we've got one for revo we've got one for uh god uh rate efficiency uh the bow event tier two guide for leia and we always say in those videos this is what will make you the most successful right It'll make you the most successful, but you can still have. I, I even when I did the bow event, I had a I, I had a fail, right? You just we didn't get the right RNG, right? But we beat it the second time around, it, mm -hmm. and I show that on on those videos so you guys can see that, you know, it's it works, it works very well. But you can still in this game, there's just RNG. There's nothing I can do about that, right? Whether it's layer tier, if in the layer tier two guy, we say if Vader decides he doesn't like Han, you're 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 boned. There's not a damn thing you can do about it. You are going to lose, you know? So uh, you just get that RNG. Um, that There's just nothing you can do. Uh, so just stick with it. Um, but you'll have less attempts than you would if you just went in there blindly. And that's mainly the thing we want is you to be successful. And for those that get it one shot, one kill, man, hey, that makes me even happier. Ships don't matter if you can't reach fleet, yeah. says Mary J. That's true, but in this efficiency times, it, it would. Big O over in uh, Twitch says, hi, Ranger and Karth. Hey, hey, Betty. Oh, God, it was fantastic. Perfectly smooth sailing. Yes, it was. And you guys should really check out the uh, the rate efficiency one. I don't do any remodding. I don't do any of that stuff. We go in there and with what I have, the only thing I had to remod was Leia. But the other seven teams, we just went in there and just, we show you how you can get a crazy good score. And I used 14-3 and 14-6, you know, for my guild every run. You know, so the only time I have to remod is for Leia, but you, you have to if you're going to do uh, Leia solo. Um, 
and then uh, yeah, get your uh, big scores. Yeah, in. yeah, you, you can't you can't not with Leia. <laughs> like there is no other way around it. Uh, Mary J says uh, the problem to the GAC board unfortunately cannot be solved. It'd be just the board would face any problem in a year. Yeah, but they need to be uh, the 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 counter to that. Mary J is they just need to be more proactive with it. Why do we have to wait so long? Yeah, you can fix it, but you need to be proactive with it. You know, you have to be looking at the trends and things that are happening and things of that nature. You have to be Johnny on the spot and be, be able to make adjustments as they, they pop up, you know? That's the way I always did things and then do things. So, yeah. <laughs> but what do I know, Karth? I don't even know nothing. You said it, not me. <laughs> I did say it. Hello, everybody on Twitch. Hello, everybody on YouTube. Why so serious? Says hello there. Hello there. Um, so, yeah, we'll show you guys some of the... Uh, we're going to do some of my JC here. I don't know, 30, 45 minutes. And we'll show you, like... You can just get bad RNG at any time. It's more prevalent, I would say, Karth and ships than it is on ground. Um, but I don't care what event you're doing or what you're, what's going on, man. Like, I even the Leia guide. Right? Uh, did you did you do the fight? You gotta get the right RNG. Like uh, the other day, I was running lay. I'm like, God damn it! I got to the final park card doing the exact same thing and just couldn't kill that last goddamn scout trooper, and it kept killing me instantly. It got the turn me. I'm like, God damn it! <laughs> I was like, you bastard. So it took me a couple runs in the lay one, which is frustrating, but it's just the way the game goes, you know. So unfortunately, the cheese meta broke it's the, the game. The way the cookie crumbles. Yes. Yeah, it did. Honestly, it did. The the they need to go back to Datacrons being what bolsters defense. The they either need to do better jobs at maintaining one set being offensive, the other set being defensive, mm -hmm. or they need to just lean more heavily into defensive sets because, like right now, the offensive cheesing is it's so stupid. There is nothing that holds worth anything, and there's no point to put anything good on defense. Because odds are, you're if you get a hold in South, that wins you your GAC. Because yeah, three it's, like, holds. it's all about trying to, it's all tr about trying to trick your opponent into using something they shouldn't use. But if you take everything good to offense, who cares? You just yeah. overkill everything. <laughs> yeah, it's just yeah. Now I did change up our defense a little bit. I pulled Lord Vader off uh, defense um, because I'm like, no, you know what team I put down. Your J and K team. <laughs> I'm so happy I did that, Karth. <laughs> you know, anything you can do to, you know, to, it's about stealing banners and getting holds. And I was shocked today we had three or four holes. Now he's still cleared uh, to ships. I haven't checked it here recently, uh, but we'll get into it. But we're going to use a lot of the counters today and we'll, we'll show it here in a little bit. Like, I've got the right team, I've got the right counter. Let's see what happens with RNG, you know? <laughs> it's like, oh, God. Karth wants 400% yeah. defense. I'll take the 400% defense. I just don't want the dodge. Dodge is the only stat I don't want. Whoa, 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 game. whoa, whoa. I don't mind the, like, I don't want defense that high ever again. Percent is a good number to cap out at. Like, yeah, that's I the think you understand. Data crime can get. Yeah. And then you throw on a little bolt. Yeah, that totally works for me. Hey, sure, Mikey. From Accuracy Arrows. They only help sure to... that one hits defense, the other one goes to offense. You just swing back and forth with that paradigm, and then it'll be fine. Like, <laughs> until then, I don't know what to tell you. Like, it's, it's, it's just, it's a poop show. Yeah. The last two, you have more offense than anything. I mean, I, I've been talking with CG. The one thing I told him to do is just to tone down the stats, period. Like, if you're going to do data crons, they can't be ridiculous, right? They're just in certain things that's just like, stop doing that. But yeah. Well, and they've been better about it, too. They have right? gotten like better, we, but the last two the sets stats just... have come down. Yeah. But, but there it, are some mechanics that just get way too like too powerful. Like doubt is like obnoxiously strong. It's, it's really strong, you know. Like and to be on a level three, like not even faction tied. It's like it's a generic level three for for dark side characters. 
Whew, like that shut down so much of the board, which I think is why they did it, to be honest. Yeah. You know, half the teams don't work anymore because you either have to survive through not being able to gain turn meter or you the counter just full on stops because you can no longer gain turn meter. Yeah. And it, it makes it a little bit, a little bit nutty. I, it's just one of those things. It, it, the the Datacrons, the stats have gotten way more manageable. Uh, the, but they've just, the, the, the abilities, man. My God. Some of them are nuts. Oh, my God. Uh, Michael W. Hunton of the Third from His Majesty's Secret Gaming Service says, I just battled Maul, Paz, and Watt. Paz almost melted my Lord Vader, did melt my Relic 8 Royal Guard and Maul. Ooh. Whittle Swing 3 says, I'd like CG to figure out what balances and give us offense and defensive options. They've been going heavy offense recently. Yeah, yeah. I mean, yes. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I don't know what to tell you, brother. <laughs> oh goodness. I mean, I think that slow expansions of the board at the top, the top end of Kyber. I don't want this expansion going down to below Kyber. You know, Kyber three or below. Um, but they uh, they just need to make a new division. Like they, I agree. Yeah, leave that's Kyber where too. it's at. Just just make a new division and call it a day. Because there's no way to fix the problem by just adding more. You need to put it to a new division. You need to have that division be for the people that want to be tryhards. And then what they got to do on every tier of GAC going down is you got to put a strainer at the bottom of like Kyber 5, right? Players below above a certain GP cannot fall below that bracket. Right. Because that's the only way you make it fun and competitive for the players in Carbonite and Erodium and Chromium and all those other locations because they don't want to fight those people. So the people that don't want to try, let them go down to Kyber 5. They got the accounts that they deserve the, 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 the crystals they're going to get out of it anyways. They're not going to be winning and losing very often and they're all going to bunch together and hang out there. Yeah, like, I agree. Same thing with the, with the other it's ones. Carbonite, erodium. Do the same thing. You don't want to be an active participant in GSC, hanging the bottom of each of those divisions, so you uh, make your mind up that you do want to participate. So that way you're, yeah, that we don't have what happened to our poor friend there that's facing a 9 million GP account with 1.9 million. No, that's just, that's ludicrous. That That's absolutely ludicrous. But until they do something along those lines, when are they going to do really probably never but big o says when are they going to do relic 10 and if so then should an unlock ability that would change the game um uh, nothing in the near future i can tell you that much um relic 9 is still <laughs> really hard to acquire hey. right now man it is ridiculous how hard it is to acquire I don't know. I don't see Relic 10 anytime in the next six months, Karth. You? I'm not speaking. Uh, no. You there, Karth? Did we lose Karth? Did we lose me? but yeah i don't see relic 10 anytime soon so all right uh let's see here don't bring the relic 10 down on the evil down on this ricky bobby that's right. uh mad max over twitch says uh they really play if they're uh, that low anyway get your battle and watch them not play eh, that's fine but the, the, a lot of times though they can't even it, it they 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 take advantage it is it's just car car solution is perfect just have that that uh gate on the bottom of each division so that you know players that have certain gp cannot be facing other players of gp so maybe level 90 to burn our credits possibly but you know with the addition of the light speed bundles and stuff players are burning through zetas um and other materials I don't know. The, the thing is with Relic 9, it's just still so hard to acquire, right? Um, even with the raid and things of that nature, like it, it's really hard. You get if you focus it's, in, it's incredibly expensive. Yeah. 
It really is. So going to Relic 10, just, you know, they, they, Car, they would have to up the amount of materials that we get straight up. There's no other way for it. Um, we, yeah, we would, we would, need, we would need a significant increase in what we get out of the raid rewards to make it even make sense because they still have such a tight hold on R9 mats and R9. It's, a, it's like, this is the mat that doesn't make sense, right? It takes as many mats to go to do two R8 as it does to do one R9. So it's like, if the, if the trend follows to R10, it's going to take twice as many, you know, you, you can probably get three R8s for every Relic 10 character. It's like, what's going to help your roster more? A, a roster full of R8s or a roster full of R10s? Absolutely. And like, or, or not, sorry, not a roster full, a few R10s, a few of them. So it's like, ah, it's not really worth the, worth the, the headache. It's it just, it, it, yeah, it, until they significantly increase the drop rates on these things and other places that we can get them, there's, I don't see Relic 10 coming to the future anytime soon. I just don't. It's, uh, you never know with CG, Karth, but I just don't see it in any of the tea leaves or stuff I've been looking at or, you know, talking with people about, you know, people ask me yeah. all the time, when, when do you think Relic 10 is coming? Uh, I mean, honest answer for this year, I'd be shocked maybe by the end of the year. I mean, we get right something. now, the gear progression isn't where they're focused. No. Like, you look at what CG's been doing for the last two, three years now. It's all about making you relic up different parts of your roster and then making you chase after the new meta, which is the new character. So we're going almost back to the OG um, you know, market marketing plan, which is basically pump out good teams that everyone needs to get if they want us to stay competitive and then just let that keep cycling through yeah. because they're going to change the, the, the high end meta once a year with the new GL, they'll change the ship fleet arena and GAC meta once a year with the new ship. We know what, so we, we got in the data mines the other day, um, a chase bundle, which is new, um, which means the next ship, is loaded into the game they they are going to bring in the next ship so whatever tag that ship has that's going to be the dead giveaway for whatever the the new uh fleet meta is going to be odds are separatist 100 percent separatist but i i, I won't say 100 percent. i'll say 99 percent because i'll leave that one percent for like cg going out of left field but man it, it doesn't seem it doesn't seem like they do all this uh they do all this stuff with phantom menace and not give us anything to coincide on the dark side with it besides one unit yeah uh mike says uh, maybe guild dailies could be updated after eight years how dare you sir <laughs> eight years is not enough time oh it's linky it's linky it's running for a girl and a boy says uh hello hello there and desi says hi to linky and linky uh he, he's he's gone back into his shell card id being desi That's she's fair. locked she's locked her gaze on him and she's telling him, don't run. That's right. Stand still so she may bring thee. That's right. All right. Keep getting your questions in. We'll go for a little while longer here with questions, and then we'll show some of the stuff you guys have been asking with my GAC. So we'll show the UFU team. Uh, we'll do some of the counters uh, and stuff like that. So, yeah. And then we'll get the one shot, one clear, and then uh, we'll, we'll end the stream. And then we can go on to bigger and better things. Anything fun on your uh, plate today there, Carthaginius? Uh... You and the wifey doing yeah. anything? Oh yeah, we got we're doing stuff today. We got stuff to do around the house. Okay. Sounds Gardening fun. to do. Oh yeah, yeah. Yard work. I did that last week. I don't know. Do errands. So yeah. Yep, I understand. Uh, mom was telling me about the l last little projects, and then she's kind of mad. She's like, "You know, we got some weeding to do in the back." I'm like, "No, we don't. You have some weeding to do in the back. I did the front, <laughs> and I did water pressured everything, pressure washed everything." So, mm -mm, mm -mm. I got a little bit more pressure washing to do in the front, but mm -mm. oh no, no, uh, -uh. Ranger's not out there with his arm doing any more weeding. I already did that. <laughs> Besides, I have to go make a run to. Uh, 
my boy over at Sasquatch Games and uh, get a little bit more details. He's been texting me and stuff, but it's like, uh, you know what? Uh, let me just get the details. Ooh, Karth, I, I'm excited because uh, I got the Whistling Birds ordered, the digital ones that light up and everything. It's going to be pretty cool. Nice. And then I've got the uh, the other digital display for the uh, the the right gauntlet, you know, for the flamethrower and stuff uh, ordered. And then uh, last but not least, we're going to get a new sound system for the helmet. I don't have to get rid of, I'm going to get rid of all that bulky crap. It's going to be pretty cool, Karth. I'm going to send like the Mando and it's going to be dopest. And it's going to be cool. I'm, in, I'm a nerd. <laughs> I, hadn't, I hadn't noticed. I, to be honest with you, I hadn't. I hadn't. Noticed. I know. Yeah. <laughs> uh, hey, Star Knight Killer says thanks, brother, for the nice uh, response back to me. I really appreciate it. Anytime, man. Hell yeah. That's what I do, man. If you tag me in Discord, man, or you, listen. As a Patreon, you can tag me in Carth anytime. You have your own VIP channel. Do not be shy about that shit. People do it all the time. They like to tag Karth more than me, and that's okay. He, he's be, he's just knows he's better. Um, <laughs> but um, yeah, you're more than welcome to the to tag me at, at any time. You don't have to use the VIP channel. If you're a Patreon, you can tag me. But if you're not, it's not like I'm going to ignore you, right? You you know I'm going to I'm going to respond. You know, but you have to tag me. I'm in like nine thousand discords, so you have to tag me. It, that's the only way. So. Uh, you know, if you don't, and then it's like, well, why didn't Ranger respond? Because I was in 800 other discords. I can't see everything. You have to tag me to get my <laughs> attention because I'm constantly, when I wake up in the morning and I open discord, I'm sure it's the same thing for you, Carth. It's like, <laughs> it's like, oh God. <laughs> yeah, sometimes it's just good morning. Yes. How are you doing today? And he's like, oh, I'm doing good. Thanks for, thanks for asking. That's, you know, get some of those and you, you got to respond to everybody, Carth. You know, that's what we do. Bomber says, so I cannot tag Car mm -hmm. Karth without tagging you. No, you can tag Karth. You don't need me. You can tag Karth. Just say, Karth, F Ranger, I need your help. And he'll, help, you know, and he'll be like, that's right. And then he'll come help you. It does nothing. No, that's not how that works, Linky. No, you just do at Karth, not tag Karth. What's wrong with you? <laughs> that's not how this works. That's not that's, how any of this works. I unfriend you. That's fair. That's fair. Yeah. Uh, 11 million discords, I know. Why yeah, being... I have a... yeah, go ahead. Oh, I said I have a, a lot of mine I just mute because I have to do something. I only do like I only do like at me specifically. Yeah. yeah. If it's not if it's at everyone, at roles, it's like nope. The nope. only one nope. only roles I care about for the most part are freaking my own guild. So if you don't get a response out of me, that's why. But also three says, help me, Ranger. You're my only card. <laughs> Starting to close, I understand that for sure. I don't have him in our Discord, unfortunately. Uh, who, Karth? Just message Karth. You can find him on our Discord. Karth's the man, man. <laughs> Karth's the guy that I want to do something stupid, and Karth will tell you, don't do that, Ranger. <laughs> <laughs> I'll come up with some crazy shit, and Karth will be like, Ranger, you know better. I'm like, I know, but he's like, no, Ranger, don't, don't do that. It's like, okay. <laughs> But I want to. But I want to so bad. Once in a while, I do that for Karth, but uh, it's a rare occasion. Like, no, Karth, you can't do that. And he'd be like, mm, but I want to. A lot of times it's for Welly, and it's like, you know, Ranger, I was thinking about it, like, don't do it. You're a young man. <laughs> 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 but I must have everything at Relic 9 at one point. Come on. Uh, Reapers can't be the only one. Starnet Coach is the only one that can help us is CG, but they don't give a damn about us. It's not they don't give a damn about us. I'm gonna I'm gonna respond to that one. They do give a damn in a sense, right, Karth? And I think you, you're gonna follow my train of thought on this. They sure. just think they know better than you do. Like well, they listen, they listen to what we say. Yeah. And so and you see some of the stuff they've implemented, like quality of life and things of that nature. That means they're listening, so they care. But then other things they twist stuff you know, and, and say things like, come on, don't blow sunshine up our ass. We know what you're doing, man. You know, uh, you know, it's like, you know, come on, be real. Go ahead, Carl. I'm just, I'm just like, do they care? Oh. Yes. But to an extent. It, well, the thing is too, though, is like the kit, our, the, our cares are going to be different from how they can, uh, you know, address them. It's never going to be a one-to-one -one ratio of like, well, we think this is a problem and you 
you should fix it how we want it fixed. And they're like, okay, but we don't see the problem that same way because you got to understand the people that, that come to streams, the people that watch YouTube, the people yes. that go to the forums, they make up like what, maybe 10%? at a generous percent, 10 to 15% of the, of the, of the player base. So it's like you can go into an echo chamber and have a lot of people feel the same way as you do, but it's not how the majority of the community is reacting. And a lot of what CD does is based off their analytics. Yes. So it's, all it's not that they don't care. It's just that it's like how big of a problem is this problem? And if it's not a big enough problem, it's like, okay, well, it sucks for you, but it's not going to, they're not going to change the entire game so that you, the one individual has a better playing experience where everyone else may not have. Um, the uh, will go go the other way. So, I mean, for me, you know, I wish they were a little more open on the communication. I know Meathead does a fairly good job on that. Yeah. Uh, but I feel like they're still CG as a company. I feel is like still a little too close off. They they're don't, too close they don't to the vest, man. They're way too close. Yeah. To the like I would, I would prefer them to be a little bit more active and open on that kind of stuff. But I mean, that's that's the preference. But for the most part, it's not that they don't care. It's just that they're not going to intervene the way you want them to intervene. And yeah. I think that's a, just an unrealistic standard to put on anybody. It's like, I want your help. Okay. I helped, but that's not how I wanted you to help. I'm like, all right, get out of here. <laughs> yeah. Do they need like, to do better? Yes. And do they still step all over their, their, their dick? Absolutely. Like you just brought up there's the, the, the galactic challenge Omicron. Really? I mean, they can test it. You don't have to apply it. They're not going to change the galactic challenges to be more specifically like if you have a galactic challenge on me you get more on me like well they're it's, not, it's they're just, just testing the, the area i know but it's the way they were it's like we just wanted to try something new no you didn't you wanted to expand this so you force players to spend more money don't even try to tell me you were just your your your, your I mean, goal was to do this it, it's, it's only, and i don't have a problem with that but it's like it, it's one of those things karth with with how all does it how does it make more money though? Like it's just the problem I have you, with the argument, man. You know, I, I but it's it's all it. about that pressure, man. Because people get impatient. You, you know, your those people will, will just give in. That's what they do. Oh man. yeah, yeah, oh yeah. They're, the they're gonna they don't have gungans at like relics when the when the things start come out. Oh yeah, it's gonna be a massive incentive for them to to take it to put it on and use it. But I mean, once you got gungans at relics, you should be like, okay. Who cares? And the thing is too is like. To date, unless CG reorganizes where the emphasis on the burritos come from, which might be the only shitty yeah. thing they can do with this, it's like you can get your two Omicrons without getting like beyond like gear 12 on like the faction tag. If you can get everything else maxed out, which usually isn't tied to the faction, you know, you can you can do just fine. And I, was, like, I, was, I was thinking about this, the, the Galactic Challenge Omicron, like, you're barely going to need use it still because now they will do this thing. And we know this card that a lot of the galactic challenges are going to be Gungans. Like they did it with like Mando and stuff. You know, that's, Oh yeah. Yeah. Up. Like six months straight of like every other. Yeah. Galactic everyone's going to be, it's going to be Gungans, right? That's just what they do. Um, but I'm, yeah. but outside of that, once that gets passed, I'm like, how good is the Omicron going to be? Because, and a lot of the galactic challenges, you need undersized team and a dark side and a light side, and you have to beat it with a specific team. So I'm like, for me, the Omicron, although I think it's 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 cruddy, I'm not worried about it because I don't plan on using it. You know, it's like if I can't, no. as long as I get I can beat the other feats and get tier eight, I don't care. Now, what I'm worried about is they're going to change the boxes and make the Omicrons higher tier. Then I'm like, okay, all right, there we go. <laughs> yeah, that and that would be its own level of then, then that would be a reason to be mad at CG because then they're like, oh, well, we're going to make it so basically if you didn't wail your punish now, it's just like. Uh, no, they shouldn't do that. They should they should just let it be what it is. If players want to put it on, let them put it on. If they don't, then they don't. Yes, then that's agree. fine. They can test out the mode. I'm fine with that. If they want to put on, you know, in a more mode, that's fine. The problem is, is that the way they're going about it, it just it's not something that's effectively useful for a large portion of the player base. Because like even like sorties, you know. Omicron, is it good? Yeah. But when you took away Zealous Ambition, the whole point of running Sorty went right out the window. Like, yeah, that Omicron was so contingent on the 
data disks that you could use that it like once it went to went away, <clears throat> it was dog shit. Yeah. So I'm glad Zell's ambition's back because she <clears throat> went in there with sorty one shot in the oh yeah one so shot fun. on the board. So oh much fun. my god. Same thing with like uh uh it's just there's so many teachers like push a button win. It's like, oh god, it's so good. Uh so like, what about Jedi Cal? But but uh and but not not only Bo Katan. Well, I think they did something different here on the Cal thing. The Cal thing bugged me because the time between should have been three months, but it was way longer than that for Jedi Cal, which really was a it head was scratch. Just over just over four months. Yeah. It was like 130 days or something like yeah. that between between the Cal events, which is still within the range. I guess. But it, it, was, it was frustrating, right? Because the thing that yeah. the, the reason that it was frustrating and it was frustrating for me, not that not I have Cal, I mean, but frustrating in that sense for me, but it's like you have this mission in Zepho. And I, this thing is where the player frustration came. You have this mission in Zepho that's really important. But we only get in the character every four months. They have all these TVs in between where people have the characters. They just may have missed the event and stuff. They're just sitting there. They can't do the Zephyr mission because you're using regular Cal in that fight. That's rough. You can do it, but oh my God, that's so rough. Yeah. Um, <laughs> and then at the same time, they're doing this new thing where Bo's getting introduced every month. And, I mean, she's amazing. I mean, Don't get me wrong. In the reality, in the reality, though, I think that's the, they're using those analytics from yeah. the ship events, and they're looking at that and going, "Okay, we can probably capture more players more readily if we bring back the events more frequently." So, if that's the running trend moving forward, then I do not care. I'm happy about it. I am because too. it means that players are going to get caught up faster. You don't have to wait six months. To get the character, if you're done farming in four, you get the character in four months. If you're done farming in three, you get the character in three months. If you're done farming in two, you get the character in two months. Yes. If you're gonna whale and have it day one, you get the character day one. It like that's the thing that always blew my mind when people bitched about Jabba being released before everything was farmable. Uh, yeah. They're like, oh cool. well, I can't, I can't get the, I can't get Jabba. I'm like, were you gonna spend? No. Then you don't oh, get well, him. It right wouldn't away. have mattered when Jabba released. You wouldn't have gotten him until the character for farmable. So they're just giving the whales an incentive to keep spending. Yeah. Like it's not going to impact you. You were still going to go four months without the freaking character. So who cares? Yeah. I like, think what, you were it, never, you never going to have that problem. Yeah. I think what happened is I think they had Cal on the old cadence and then they got Bo yeah. and they wanted mm -hmm. to try Bo on a new cadence. <clears throat> and I think that's, yep. but it just worked out with Cal being needed on Zepho and then Bo being the new shiny. Like, why is this happening? Right. Especially for a character that's needed for TV. Right, you feel like it should have been flipped. Well, where Cal was coming out every month and Bo every like three or four because Bo's nice, but you don't really need her for any TV or any other missions and stuff. But Cal, yeah, man. but that we're I think the other reason for for Bo is they wanted to get her out and available because they're going to do the new Mandalore planet, and so they want to make sure people have got the character. So they might have learned the lesson, right? That might have been one of the incentives to put. Bow out more frequently. It was trying to get more people with bow in hand before Mandalore launches, so that players can experience the new content more readily. Like, I'm fine with it. Keep, yeah, I like it a lot. The, the bow release really works yes. for me. I, I, I it's, it's either if, if you're going to bring it, if it's not going to be something that's open immediately, then bring it back every month. You know, because yeah. players really like that. The the waiting, like we what we went through with the Grand Inquisitor and what we've gone through with Cal. Oh yeah, six months on Grand. Inquisitor. Like get the get stupid. the hell out of here, CG. Nobody likes that. It's really frustrating for the player base. They have to go. They, you know, if they don't unlock it well and get it the first time, then you know, making them wait six months, it, it's just ludicrous. You know, I like the bow release. You know, it, it's like you said, job. As soon as job came out, I knew I was going to get him day one, but I had a problem with that. I got him three weeks later, and I was okay with that. I was yeah. like, I don't need him day one, but I was working toward him, so that's fine. Yeah, the Cantina one, I will say, Starkiller says, in Cantina Battles, if you need only one character, you're effed out of the Relic stuff. Yeah, that's one thing that they've got to do. The The signal data stuff is really, uh, it's really bad. It's really it, bad, man. It's got not to. that they need to change how Cantina works. They need to put in more events that yes. reward larger amounts of signal data. Yes, we like, just need more signal data. And the drop rate on it is that's... horrible. It's horrible. Um, and it's well, so hard. <clears throat> 
it's really bad on the tier three stuff yeah it's pretty bad but the other two tiers aren't that bad yeah the 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 one the first the tier one is uh it, you'll get a lot of them but the but the other two man especially the the, the darker blues good god yeah even three. the greens could be yeah pretty, pretty, pretty someday um and and, and those are, yeah greens are pretty close to one to one drop rate for every sim you do you should get one uh the blues are like somewhere oh, between God. 50 and 75 percent drop rate so yeah. usually it's like you get like 75 percent of, of your sims should pull back a, a one and then like the um the tier one is like 1.5 so usually you net 1.5 for every sim you do so usually if you do like 20 sims you should should be close to somewhere in your 30 oh my god unlock us foils and assume attack position bft braze fan 10 is rating with a party of 16 i don't have the thing going on right now why is my stream alerts not working hmm. that's happening turn that on uh pyronelli what's going on it's just ranger look who i brought it's that goddamn braze fan there All right there he is bft howdy folks doing some jedi academy answering your questions stars galaxy here's questions and then we're gonna do a little bit of since we get we get asked GAC questions a lot, Carl. So we're just going to show GAC. So yeah, um, but yeah. So in regards to that, we do need more signal data, and we need more places for it. It is rough, like right now. So what I did in anticipation of a cantina farm, um, Star Knight Killer, is I hoard signal data. I do three one hundreds every day, uh, and I hoard it. I have enough right now that. Um, I can do all the new characters and I do that and hoard on purpose. I only work on the characters that I'm going to go for and I hoard and they don't go to relic until I've got everything in position to take them up instantly. Right. I, I just hate taking a character up and I get stopped. You know, once in a while when you get a, like a piece of green gear, you're like, I don't care. I just got to go farm some. Uh, but when you're talking about signal down stuff, yeah. Um, enough to take them to relic five off the pop. Uh, and then like, I've got enough in my wheelhouse that it, that, that I stop because I'm working on the staff. Um, but it's just what you have to do right now. Is it ideal? No. Do I hate it? Yes. But that's all you can do right now. I, I mean, car's point about needing more places for signal signal data is a big one. dude. That is a big funneler of what people can do and not do. Right. Oh my God. Yeah it's 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 the biggest constraint in the game and if you're not spending it's very hard to keep current on it so it's like for the most part <clears throat> if they added it to more events if they made it accessible in other stores for other currency yeah like i really thought they were going to do a little bit more with the like the like the purple tokens that we get from that ultimate journey guy right. event um but it's so little and it's so infrequent because a restore only refreshes once a week it's like come on like give give us something worth our time here um so i mean it's just one of those things where it's like okay certain things kind of make sense other things are not making sense so let's get together on things making sense <laughs> Links to signal data is just more important than some characters. That's why I hate characters on Cantina. Well, it's like the 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 um, comeuppance kit was a Cantina yeah. farm. I didn't touch it. I left it at six stars. I didn't give a shit. I was like, no, nah, signal data. Sometimes you just make that decision. Like, I'll go back and get it once I'm good with these new characters and stuff. I'll go finish comeuppance. But, you know, signal data, until they, they change it, I will be very specific. I I, I, I promise Cars and the Guild that if you can give a Cantina farm it and I'm doing it because I'm a good guildy uh so yeah part another question why be going from gear 12 to relics be so expensive better anyone crystals and time uh, and when i say expensive i mean crystals and time consuming um it is what it is it's just it's it's just one of those funnels that they have for you to you know I mean, it's just one of the things they do to to try to get you to use resources and or buy resources. Apparently. Now, one of the things I've done now that um, I've been playing as long as I have is that I've hoarded enough material with furnishes and stuff that, like, uh, again, I could take all my characters that are the new characters to relics immediately. Like, gear 12, you know, just hoarding and being very, very efficient in my farms, 
you know, uh, allows me to just hoard it when I'm ready, then I pop it so that I'm not worried about it and still have some left over for the next farm. But it takes a long time to get there. So I understand your frustration, but it's not going away. Uh, signal data ain't going away. And some of these, you know, like the furnaces and things of that nature, they ain't going away. You know, it's, yeah, it's, you gotta, he's got to buy stuff with your, your uh, raid tokens there, Carter. That's all I can tell you. This is hoard. <laughs> oh my God. Uh, yeah, pretty much. The most I got out of 12 bottles was seven. Uh, well, I usually on it, and that's actually pretty good. There's starting a killer for blue. Um, typically on a good pull on blue, I'll get between 10 and 12 on a 20 pull in Cantina. Most times it's between six and 10. You know, it's like, okay. <laughs> you know, uh, the greens are more on the top end, but you do get those pulls. You're like, nine. Go to hell. <laughs> the light blues just drop like astronomical amounts. You're just like, wow. The early relic stuff is not so hard, but the greens and the blues for Sinodetta. That's when it gets a little tricky. When you're trying to do relic six, seven, eight, nine, it's like, ooh, and they require so much. Like that relic, that 40 for relic seven to eight, it's like, ooh, God, <laughs> whatever it is. It's like, oh man, that's a lot of goddamn blues. I don't like it. Our right, notice is I wish they replaced mo more of the characters in some of the shipment stores and put more gear material on them. Yeah, what do you think about that, Karth? Uh, replace some of the characters with uh, more of the material that we need. I mean, just add more to the stores. Like, yeah, why well, take away? Why not just take add? any away? Just yeah. add more to the stores. The the problem is that they if they do anything where they add it, it needs to add it to an event or it needs to add it to the newer store for those with less currency of it. Because they they have plenty of accounts that you would just ruin the economy of the the game if they were like, oh yeah, we're gonna add some data to Galactic War tokens. Because there are accounts that have hundreds of thousands of those saved up. Oh yeah. And now they're gonna just dump them and and get tons of it for for not even need to farm anything in the game, which some people are like, oh, that's going to be great. I'm like, yeah, but everybody who spends it consistently on farming shard shop currency or whatever else, and they're using that that currency, now they're screwed because they, they're they going to be way behind the game. So it's like, if they do add it, it needs to be added to events. It needs to be added things like, um, oh, like either add, add them more to the assault battles, add like to a Gungan event. Yeah. You know, assault battle where we get more, or I don't care, you know, do a Galactic Republic one. I don't give a, give a hoop, you know, do stuff that's going to allow players to be rewarded for the effort they put into the game. But if they do it, it needs to be added to newer stores or it needs to be added to um, new events because you can't have it. You yeah. can't have it in areas where it's like, oh, old places are getting it. So, yeah. Well, and one thing you have to understand about this part now, and we've, you know, the times I've had CG on and we've questioned one thing that they are very just overly hesitant on. Again, we talked about being close to the, the vest there, Karth, is the economy. Mm -hmm. They are super tight when it comes to making any changes to the economy. That is one thing that will take a long time for them to make a, make a move on because they have to research and anal do analysis and figure out what's going to be the impact. If they make one change for one piece of gear in a certain place, right? What's going to be the impact. And the big impact is what's the, how's that going to affect their bottom line? Right? So yeah, that's why you see some of this stuff like Omicrons and things of that nature, why they are so slow signal data, all this stuff, right? Because that's how they're making some cash. And what's going to be the impact if they change this for more free to play friendly, right? Like it or love it, hate it, whatever. That's just the nature of it. When it comes to the economy of this game, they are very slow. Me and Karth have seen it for years. You know, um, it, it, that ain't changing anytime soon. Karth. Like how it is that they are for that. Oh my goodness. So it's going to be a while, Karth. It's going to be a while. Yeah, 100%. Going to be a minute. All right. Uh, keep your questions coming in. Thank you guys for the raid over there, BFT, and everybody over on Twitch. Keep your questions coming in. You don't have to stop, but uh, we do get a lot of questions on GAC cars, so let's do some GAC for these folks and talk about this crap. All right, let me...
your screen here first for Karth because Karth needs to see this in real time or he gets Whoa. angry. He gets angry. You want me to help? Well, <laughs> you like to say, Ranger, don't do that shit. <laughs> I do. I do like to say that. It's my favorite. He's like, uh, he's like uh, no, 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 Ranger, you can't do that. No, don't do that, Ranger. <laughs> all right let me go to gac here keep your questions coming in uh you guys have been asking us about some of these teams and gac now uh, karth i'm pretty happy with our defense i changed some things up and uh it did pretty well it did pretty well your jmk yeah. team got one shot but i think it's screwed our opponent on some of the other fights because well it's all about efficiency it's all about well, that jmk and threes is just obnoxious for that exact reason though it's like it does it it requires a good counter. You still got to use a GL most of the time to beat it with the current Datacron. Yeah. And so if that's the case, like you're still going to be screwed if you don't do it well. So so we had two holes with our Ray. He did go through our Jim Cave, and that's fine. All right. You're welcome, Starkiller. Have a good one, my friend. Here. Well, yeah, if they're using both their bomber, that's you can see it had a cascading effect. Ray had two uh, holds there in the in the south, and then up north, we had two holds with our our CLS team, which was a bonus as far as I'm concerned. And then Karth, good old Iden in the back, did it again, came through clutch. Yeah, I tell you what, man, Iden Iden is causing all kinds of heartache because she just that current Datacron set, people just woefully underestimate the damage output she does You're yeah pretty much so we had some holes karth our defense only got some holes not going to stop the full clear not in this day and age of fights right there's just too many teams but if you can get some drops yeah. along the way man we're looking pretty good in the neighborhood here so let's let's do this work as an attack ship yet. he's probably waiting for us to do our thing so we've got a bow on defense um we've got uh ray we've got lord schmader Got the Ufu team, and we've got. So we're gonna have to go hard in the south here. Um, and the North End Theater is another geo. Here. We've got Leia. The Saw team, TTMG. Yeah. So they've got a lot of good teams here. So. Uh, LBC question to both of you. I am a four, fu four fusion furnaces from Relicking Jedi Count. I already have DTMG at Relic 5. No Zetas. What do I do or what is the order I should go in? Cal? I mean, DTM's good and he's got his Datacron right now. But I mean, he has Datacron he's at Relic 5. He's fine. You don't do anything else with him right this moment. You need to get your Jedi Cal up, man. That just really, that really does help. That really does. About where the Zetas need to go? Is this... Is it, he's kind of asking, do I do more with DTMG uh, or go all in on Cal? Do, so if you're talking about, does, if you're talking about Zetas, have, we, yeah, yeah if you're talking about Zetas that they need, or are we talking about just which one to focus on? Like, do you want to take DTMG to higher relics or do you want to like figure out who does Zeta? Like I, I need more clarification. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah. Which which is it? Okay, uh, so I gotta figure this out. We're gonna use the Ufi team here versus Ray. Yeah, he put Malikos on defense. He sure did, Dad. Dang it. Um, just gotta figure out who I want to use against what here. Now we can Sith trio of the Inquisitors. Um, we'll Ufu the Ray team. I'm thinking C for the Malikos team. Lord Vader, we can bow. I don't know what I want to do against Bo. Let me look at that. Ooh. We don't have JMK because I put on defense, but that worked out to our advantage. Uh, let me see here. And you guys in chat, keep your questions coming in. If you have any suggestions, you're more than welcome to do that. We do some, our JCs on Jedi Academy now because you guys ask a lot of JC questions, and this is where you can see it. Um, Bo Katanis. I put 2% in and it didn't pull her up. God damn it. Mm -hmm. uh c will take her out so we may see that and then i can use another gl on that team okay uh c watts sith empire troopers well c watts uh 96 actually c watts seems a little bit better i guess the tank tech oh, okay. really stops it. um Yeah, LBC Rob with 
if your guild's not doing Zepho, I would probably put the. Oh man, that's hard. That I gotta. Hard. I'd have to go look to see where Genite Cal's Zetas uh, sit because see. I guess what they gotta do. All right, let's do the Ufa team versus Ray because this will dictate like the rest of our be here. Um, because I like I like Cal because he's way more versatile. I think DTMG is a one trick pony that's getting really well used right now. Um, and I don't think it's going to hold indefinitely, like especially once the Kron fails. I don't think it's going to be worth putting on defense. So, man, the short answer I feel like is focus on Cal. Let DTMG be a fun little Empire tank to sit there with Lord Vader for the next season of GAC. Do we want a Dalkron for this, or do we want the Protect Seer? I've been using this. One. Uh, usually, you want to protect Seer with the protection of Crown because yeah. she's gonna she's the hard. She's gonna get hit a lot, for, right? For yeah. We'll yeah. Use this one. All right. So in this fight, it's pretty straightforward. You want to throw rocks. You don't want to use Malako's second special until he gets to twenty stacks of his ragey thing, and then you just start going him. So. As long as you do that and you follow those rules, you should do well. Now you can still get bad RNG. Let's just be real here. <laughs> There's a small chance that this thing loses. So, but when it wins, it wins beautifully. You know you're going to do well if you have Ray left and you're not even 60% of the way into the fight with Star Killer Tour's ultimate. If you're getting closer to Star Killer's ultimate and there's like Ben and Ray left, uh, it's going to be really scary because they do ramp. So it's it's just it's just a time fight. So. It's going to this. We'll we'll show this fight, and then we'll show some of these other ones. We got some big. Actually, this works out pretty well, Karth. We have some big, uh, hard hitting teams there that we can uh, go here. All right. So the Ufu team. Here we go. Let's go. Dun, 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 dun. Oh, go go, Jedi Star Killer. We're gonna throw some rocks. I love throwing the rocks, Karth. I love it. Our boys are buffed. Shots from oh. I love it. All right, you're in DT. Oh, now we don't want to use this for, for a special. We want to just hit him, smack him in the face. So 15. We'll heal again. Ray's still in DI. Just smacking, smacking Ben. She's going to throw that. Okay. And now we're going to go back to Ray. And then he's at 23, so whack. And then we're gonna throw some more rocks. He'll beat on Ray. Jesus, my internet connection's gotta be crap because it's just getting about the same latency as YouTube. <laughs> Give me a second. It could be that um, I didn't hit the, the thing, so give me a second. I'll reshare here in a second. Yeah, finish the battle and then you can sort that out. Um, hit Ray. If she's yellow, go for Ben. Throw rocks, this could be good. Not for us, Seer just died. Oh no. Get him out of there. All right, dropping the Star Destroyer. I don't care. We want it. So, a little tricky at the end, but we got it. 64. Not bad. Not bad. Um, 452 over on Twitch says hi. I love that. We did it, Karth. You did a great job. You All right, let me uh, do this. Where's the optimizer? There we go. Oh, we are getting some lag from the uh, game to there. Let me uh, reset this real quick. For the teleport, this refresh it. 
And it'll be back in a second, guys. Don't freak out. Put those back on the screen. See, delay is still going on. Okay, there we go. That's a little bit better there, uh, Karth, I think. All right. Yeah, uh, here's that way. Do I want to use for bow? I guess we do C bow. Can I use uh, SLKR versus this uh, Ufu team? Would be more efficient. I think we do C versus bow. And then Ufu. Here. This thing about three, you got to figure out what you have and what you want to use is going to be the most efficient. Uh, season. Now you can use Java there. Yeah, we could use Java there. Bo Vader, Java Ufu, see this, and then we Sith Trio that. I love it. <laughs> I think that's our best player. I think that works. I like it. Yes, yes, yes. So keep your questions coming in. Hit that thumbs up. Subscribe. Do all that fun stuff. You're over on Twitch. Just keep giving your uh, your questions and stuff. And uh, yeah, keep the questions coming. Just because we're showing this stuff, because we can get asked a million GAC questions, and then this is the way it is. All right, Karth. We just need to be one shot, one kill. Don't drop any battles because our life easier. All right, Lord Schmader. Uh, well, I think it's time for Bo to make an appearance. Lord Schmader. Lord Schmader. Starkiller's animation is sick. There's some of my favorite. I kind of think that's one of your favorites, too, is, a, is the just dropping the Star Destroyer. It's just, it's insane. Yeah, dropping the ship. It's so much fun. It's so much fun. Like, I love that they took that, like, they went all out on that one. Um, but I, I wish... Some of the characters had better. Like it just pains me every time to play with JMK and J and Lord Vader because their alt animations are so trash. Like they they have a kind of a cool esque moment, but like comparatively to like even like JML and C had better alt transformations than JMK and Lord Vader did. And then on top of that, you know, at least uh, and then like Jabba's and, and Leia's have been just like top tier. Like the com the difference is just ridiculous. Yeah, it's it's really good. Man. It's uh, someone's telling me that you can you don't need patch for this fight. Let me move it. I don't trust it. I mean, it's 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 somewhat true, but I mean, why would you like you're saving a banner? Who cares? Yeah, I think he plays like safe. unless you need a banner pinch that hard. Like, like yeah, you can you, you can not need him, and and you can place a team on defense with Paz instead. But I mean, who cares? yeah, I think we go in with the full tilt. Change a heck of a lot. Yeah. Well, isn't, I know she can clear. Just uh, what are the what's the difference between having Paz in there? And you know what? Just the spring and Paz. We're not going to use them anywhere else. So I yeah, love I mean, you're it. You're not wrong. You can do it without it, but it's not. The way I'd want to go. No. So that's all I'm okay. saying. <laughs> okay. We're going to go in here. We're going to do some good work. I did Bo solo against non Maul variant. That makes sense, Wolf. If, there, if, if he would, yeah, not with Maul there, yeah. Because we're just going to go over here, basic. And then Maul's in his thing. So we're just going to wait. So we'll just start doing some of this, get some good action here. And we'll do some burning. We just got to wait for IG to take his turn. And then when he does. Then we'll uh, do the thing, get them all open, and then, uh, yeah. I love it. Hi, Maul. I see you. You. I love it. Hey, 54, we won. That's all you gotta do. Wait until your turn. Bring them all out of stealth. Slap them in the head with bow, and then you do good work here. All right. Uh, so we said Java versus that, and then uh, C versus this, and then we'll do the Sith versus that. Yeah. My feed is about 30 seconds behind. It is. Get gooder. 
<laughs> Let me Sorry. see what's going on here. Not the answer you wanted to hear. Refresh your feed. Yeah, I'll refresh again. Give me a second. Not you, them. It happens naturally, depending on where you're at. If you're on like YouTube, like you naturally just start lagging behind. All right, let me refresh it again. Disruption, it pause your stuff. Oh, behind your audio. Okay, yeah, that's a, that's a problem. That is a problem. Da -da -da -da. Make sure you got the audio turned off on one of them. What else? Stream alerts is not working. There we go. And then it disappeared. Why is it disappearing? Oh, it's coming back. There it is. Seems like it's on time now. Well, I didn't know it was janky for a while. Hopefully it's not janky anymore. We'll go to this scene here. All right. All right. That should be a little bit better, right? Okay. Uh, I lost my train of thought. Okay, we're going to job with this. Okay. Now we're going after Mialikos. Kill the Malikos. Kill the Malikos. Kill the Malikos. All right. Uh, what do I want to eat here? Say. Don't want to eat. Something, something dark, say. That's right. I like the doubt. Resistance up. Something, something. Outside. All right. Uh, if I do do that, LBC Rob, I we learned a, a valuable lesson last time we did that. Is that uh, if I do that, then the whole stream ends because YouTube doesn't allow that. So it basically I have to reset up a whole new event. So. <laughs> <laughs> yeah youtube's funky about that it's really sensitive like you can't if you go down for more than 30 seconds it just assumes you ended your stream unlike twitch twitch you just yep. you just go right back to where you started but not youtube so we're dual streaming but there are sacrifices cart that are made when doing that so all right yep. uh java versus ufus hopefully nothing bad happens here I love it. All right. Oh, I don't know who we're going to target. Oh, how about him? Thermals, get that damage going. And taunting. Should be able to go all in on his. Here. Hopefully, this. Oh, the. He's getting the pain on him. Throws the rocks. It puts the lotion on the skin. It does this when it's taller, she'll get the hose again. Now it places the lotion into the basket. Rip his arms off. I love it. He's already blinded, so let's get some more thermals on him. Yeah, it's good. More thermals. Yeah, it's good. Love uh, who's a good boy? I am. I'm a good boy. Oh no, he blew up. Oh no, I know, Carthy blew it up. Funny. We're in payout. Hot. Sarah, the fact that you try to do that against my Wookiee says a lot about you. And we'll save the ultimate for Call of Run because uh, he's a bitch and he needs to get eaten. 
I'm going to stand strong here on color red. Okay, just build up our thing. So we get 50 sevens here. I love it. Everybody, I'm Carlo Run. Nothing you can do to stop me. What's this? Looks like a giant creature coming at me. I've been digested. I lost. My APAC couldn't save me, Karth. All right. Uh, we're going to see this. Let's set that. Perfect. Let's see it is. Uh, we want a uh, Sith Trooper in this fight for Shizzle. And we also want uh, Watt. Let's get Watt in there. And what's the best health crons I have? Not the one on. Not using the one for Zidia. All right, what do you got? 35. That's a light side one. Should I use this one for. Oh boy. Yeah, we're probably going to. I don't really have a resistance team. The protection up the game is nice, but. Bang, we're not using the same one. Put this. All right, here we go. So far, Karth hasn't yelled at me like, "Don't do that shit, right?" <laughs> I've been doing this. I mean, you got pretty much everything you need to do to cook it, so it's not big concerns. Oh, I don't know. How about you get tank tech? I will be going after Bo. Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! That's why we did this. All right, uh, let's link you and Bo because she's going to take a lot of turns. I love it. Yep. Uh. Back. Ultimate unlimited power. And ye. There we go. And now time for the Sith. All right. Light sucks. All right. Uh, yep. Yep. And then the Vaji. We'll add. Yeah, I'm gonna use this one. All right. All right. Bottom. Oh, this will be fun. Yeah. The goddamn. Yeah. I love it. Oh, she was right there in the yellow. I hate seven sister. All right, isolate you. Go. Ooh, ooh. Oh, we got to get Reeve out of there. I don't know. Grand Inquisitor's right there, too. You might lose her. I mean, Reva's the bigger threat. She'll come she is. I just know Grand Inquisitor's going to do some yeah. stupid shit. 
Yeah, so, but Grand Inquisitor has debuffs that he can keep that's true. protection up on you versus Reba, who doesn't. Own. Reba has locked heal immunity, which is not good for you. <laughs> no, it sucks. I was just like, oh, God. All like, right, so we got that's, that. That's. That's a, that's a fairly common mistake people make when they're deciding who to get rid of. They're just like, oh, well, clearly the Grand Inquisitor does all the damage. And I'm like, yeah, except for Reva's way more crowd He sucks more, yeah. Sure. Than... All right, yeah. so we do not have a GL in the back here. Standard teams, lighter teams. Okay, cool. All right, folks on the north. I love it. All right. Uh, what do we want to use here? We got a Wicked show. bomber, leopard lady. Still have a DTMG. That's going to. Well, we can only use ban on one thing, so we have to use it against Leia. So, I mean, that's just the way it is. Um, don't have the. Still have Lord Vader and GML. We can and SLKR. We can use on some of these teams. So I'm not too worried about that. So we definitely want to bane the shit out of this Leia team. So, yeah. No. Yeah, those do be the facts. No doubt about it. All right. Uh, put Dooku in there, put the Bancron, and then just do our work. Yep. Uh, we can try <sighs> City. Much. I'll try. You know what? We can drop a couple battles. So I'm going to try Sidious again versus DN DTNG. We, we we are six out of seven on that fight. So let's let's do it for yeah. science. It, yeah. There's There are ways to mod DTMG to cause problems for that lineup in particular. So it's like, it's not impossible it's just definitely one of those things where it's like you people underestimate it and then get massively rickrolled i yeah i know but i'm not going to do all right let's start let's start the cycle of pain uh i want you to stay out in the open uh tell me let's do that and then Bane's getting angry. And if they want to attack my Sith Trooper, I mean that works too, you know. I'm not I'm not opposed to it, you know. Right? Okay, I'm, I'm not gonna say you can't. No. <laughs> if you want to leave Duke out there, I don't know. All right. On kill Dugu. They really hate that Sith Trooper, man. Yeah, they're almost like hard coded to go after it, to be honest with you. Oh, he died, it did. It's weird. I think they changed something about the summons. The yeah. summons have a lot higher threat because of the when they added uh the Gungan. LBC says earlier, question. Does Captain Rex Phoenix work against, I want to say, Grand Inquisitor in 3v3? If it's Grand Inquisitor lead, not Reva? I mean, if they have a Doubt Cron, if they have a Doubt Cron, the answer is no. But in 3v3, it's still, like uh, Mr. Bone said, it, that, it's a, it is an incredibly uphill fight because you don't have, it's very, it's a lot harder to loop. Um, without the the right mechanics in play, so. Uh, all right, we're gonna we're gonna try Sidious here. Let's see what our uh, win rate goes with this. If I can find him, you know, let's just go to Sith. I'm <laughs> just looking for him. Uh, there he is. Time for Sidious versus DTNG. We, either goes good or it's not going to go good. But this is worth trying. We can take this out. Uh, Sidious versus DTMG. Let's go. Let's go, baby. All right, battle it up. Right. All right. Oh, I don't know what you want to do here, Karth. How about AOE? You think we should AOE? Should. Uh, probably, yeah. Yeah, you yeah. should probably get as many of those glorious and beautiful, um, what do you call them? Uh, dots? Yes. As possible. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> it's so stupid, man. 
<laughs> yeah. Oh, oh my god. It's so silly. Oh my god. It's just silly. <laughs> just a sleep thing. <laughs> oh my god. Oh god. Um, we could gas Ooh, that Rex my. team. We've done it before. Um, then we'll figure out the rest with our three GLs still left in our pocket. So we've got a lot of teams left. I still got Inquisitors left too. I don't know how Inquisitors would do against Keller and Beck. Uh, what is the one? Reva will do fine versus yeah. Keller and I think so. Reva's just straight up anti Jedi. Yeah, so, so we're even that gas this and then we'll figure out the salt team what I want to use. Or probably SRKR. Just if I want to play it safe, because that salt team can get nasty. That thing can get it, nasty. Yeah, it ramps it ramps really hard. So <laughs> it's like it doesn't take a ton, and then it's just like, by the way, eat a dick. <laughs> Let's go gas phone first here. Now, typically, I just go after fives. Is that normally your play, or you try to do like a sacrifice or something? Uh, how do you like? Uh, play this one? When you, usually, it's you need the, your, your biggest threat is Rex. What's, it depends on what the cron that you have and that they have, mm -hmm. um, because that's going to dictate basically how you can control Rex. But if if they yeah, I guess it would depend on what they have for crowns. What their crown is. It looks like it's a level four, but I don't know what's on it. Uh, it just does the specific. Oh, it's only, okay. It's protection up, which is still obnoxious. It's still obnoxious. Um, but there's not there's no stat bonuses. What's the relic levels on this team? Five seven five seven seven. seven. Okay. Yeah. Um, I would probably just go for the sack on Rex and then just at the Rex or Rex old man Rex. Much as Cap, uh, Captain, well, CT or yeah. one is Rex, one is Rex, the other one is Captain Rex. Okay, so it's, it's so confusing because I just always call him. No, no. Rex. yeah, yeah, no. It, well, yeah, the other guy is Captain Rex, and then you have Rex. Um, so young Rex, five oh first Rex, um, is just just wail on him. And I would actually, do you need that Mace Cron anywhere else? That's for my JML team. Okay. All right. Then never mind. That's a protection. I was going to say can. that. No, I know, but it's that um, the Jedi ability block level six would be kind of clutch here, but you don't need to do it. No. Because you, your crit should still put his uh, abilities back. So I would just wail on um, on him. Yeah. Trigger the sacrifice. Yeah, you should have saved your cleanse, though. Not going to lie. Well, maybe maybe it won't even matter. Those five things will be made of paper too. His Rex hits decently hard though. Yeah, they they, they they hit hard. Gas is up, he's angry. Problem is getting through that goddamn that that's ninety. <laughs> it's yeah, like God it's, my Yeah. But the thing is though with Rex, once you get through it once, you're then you don't have to do it again and yeah. you won't have the modified stats. But I mean, if we get to the annihilate and just annihilate um, fives, and well, fives is dead. Yeah. Yeah, okay. It doesn't there matter. Now. It doesn't matter. He's going to sit down. And just use the annihilate on, on, on Captain Rex. There we go. 53, not great banners, but you know, it's clean. Yeah. It's, it never is though. I think the average is somewhere at 52 because usually you lose somebody in yeah. the process. All right, and then we'll just do Inquisitors here. Go right after in and in it. It's gas on this team. Interesting. Really? I thought that was Anakin for a second. I'm like, wait a minute. <laughs> what no, no. Gas is gas is the is the bull, is the crowd favorite enough for Keller and Beck because his AoE has such a high multiplier mm. that with the with level six at Digas, they increased offense plus all the defense penny he gets from Keller and I mean, like, I went with JML and Gas got a turn and killed Shock T at full health and protection with an AoE ability. Mm. I'm like, oh, that's so disgusting. 
Oh, which one I want to use here? They're, they're both stacking defense health protection. Uh, deflection resistance tenacity, or do I want crit damage deflection, crit avoidance potency? Crit avoidance. Yeah, I like the crit avoidance a little but bit. The, does either one have doubt? No. I don't think they do. No, okay. we already use our doubt crons. Well, a lot of my doubt crons are on defense, so yeah. it's like, yeah. So you, gas is your biggest threat here. Yeah, we're going go right after his on, ass. Go right after gas and then deal with everything else. It's, I agree. Because if gas gets loose, he will one shot most of your board. I'm not gonna not even sure go with that. That's what will likely happen if he gets loose. All right. With that. Yeah, get that ability block up. Yeah, I'm working on it. Are so annoying. Well, gas is another character kind of looks similar to um come on, he's right there. Jesus Christ. Throw me a freaking bone, Scott. Oh, she got death mark. Oh god, that worked out in our favor. Jesus. <laughs> oh man, I was gonna yeah. say, uh oh <laughs> sometimes death mark works against you. Yeah, the um Yeah, Keller is just annoying because of his, his stupid amount of oh, protection. It's like you don't think you're doing any damage to him, and he loses his protection, and he just folds. Like, oh, all right. So we've got yeah. that first order gets this for sure. Mister Brown says, "Whatever you just did brought." the mic clicking back well i don't know what to do i have no idea let me go feed the hamster <laughs> we'll go officer we'll go crew here that doesn't i still would be good let's do this one What else are they coming? Clutch over in Twitch. They're data keeper. That was 93%. Yeah, it worked out pretty well. I was getting a little worried there. So I was like, wait a minute. God damn it. <laughs> you put the death mark on the wrong person. I need to finish gas. Okie dokie. Yeah, basically just poke. Flip, turn, and back, swipe. And that should kill most of us. Gotta poke bays. Don't have a choice. I love how he just gets to keep all this good stuff. God, look how hard he hit him. Good God. Yep. Threats down. <laughs> so you're next. Mr. Okay. We got the cron. It's annoying. So I stopped using Dash Han Chewy versus that team because I got I killed Chirrut right away, right? But I was running into the problem that base would just last forever, and that allowed Saw just to go ham, right? It was like, God yeah. damn it. Well, once the, the the bomb goes off, just it it's so much chaos that four turn burning that's undispellable yeah. really starts to mess when you have no sustain. And then the their constant protection ups are so annoying. Yeah. Hey Ray Rock, what's going on? So happy up Ranger and Pickle Flashers. Ooh, have you flashed your pickle today? Mm. Flashing my pickle right now. <laughs> Good thing my camera's off. That's right. Uh, standard defense here, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, it's the same bullshit. All right, we'll empire this, we'll Leviathan that. And I don't know who should be Leviathan, negotiator or, or executor? I kind of want to. Because we can use profundity versus negotiator better than I think trying to do the profundity versus executor. That's always not good. Not good. <laughs> oh, man. Because if it works, it's great. If it doesn't work, uh oh. 
What do you have for fleet options for Funby or the Leviathan and then Empire? Chimera. Empire. Okay. Yeah, I think Empire versus Leviathan, right? And then uh I mean you can. Um you could probably get higher banners if you mirror match it, but that means you're going to have to profundity the executor fleet. That's what I don't want. I hate that argument. Uh, oh, I get it, but the... Yeah, it, I don't know how bad... You, you You said you had quite a few holds, so you probably need a banner pinch. You probably can just go lean into the... Yeah. I mean... We'll come back to it. Let's let it mill over, you know, in our heads and what yeah. we're going to do. It's let's what let's I have clear been. the ground game and see how, how much higher you are above him. Okay. Because that'll tell me basically how much risk we want to put into the into the fleet counters. Because we could clear, if profundity works, you can get like a minimum of like 72, maximum 75. Leviathan, you can get up to 76 versus in the mirror match. Um, so... Let's see here. Sonic team is that swampable? Um, possibly, I know the I know the new it, team is. It's it's gonna be really rough because of the um it's the stat, double though. control. Yeah, because no, yeah, because it got this. That, the, it was just the, one. Yeah, to uh, here. Uh, one. You would see the step if it was that. Oh, it's B one. Oh, yeah, that's that's yeah. more wampable than the other one. So okay. Well, the problem with the other one is that you have double control, right? Because yeah, yeah, um, Hondo captures. You can't counterattack when you're captured, and then Sana stealths everybody. Yeah, and so then you can't Ness... counterattack when they're when they're stealth either. So at... Nest, you have to ramp high enough to kit one shot, which that's. Not yeah. possible, but it's not fun. I gotta figure out what I'm gonna use against Tuscans because we use Sith against that. Oh boy. What do you have open? Uh so this is the teams we got left. We do have the two GLs, Lord Vader and uh JML. Uh okay, so we Lord have Vader Jedi Cal, Jedi Revan. So we can split that team up into the Jedi Cal team and then Jedi Revan with Jedi Luke, right? Because we probably don't need to use on a team with JML, we just go her and then there with Hermit Yoda. We have bounty hunters left. I still have cat left with Padme. I don't know what we can do with that. We do have Rex and the Phoenix. Uh, we do have Seymour J. We do have Dash Han Chewie as well. We have uh, Dr. Afra. Um, so we got a lot of options here. Just what's going to be the most efficient. Okay. Go back to your board. So we have the, uh, yeah. the Finn team there. We got the CLS team there, the Sauna team with no Kron, this team, which I'm pretty sure we can Wampa that. You just don't, yeah. Should be able to, because they don't even have the Also have Bad Kron. Batch and Admiral Radis, so. Yeah. Let's see. Turn off my camera. Django B1. Yeah, Wampa is like 96% win rate, so you should be fine there. Oh, this camera uh, is not working. I know we've been frozen for a while. Uh, okay. Uh, yeah. Let's just start with Wampa. I don't think that's this is this is pretty straightforward. That gives us more options by like clearing this. Where are you, Wampus? Wampa, Wampa. I'm Wampa, Wampa. Uh, let's see. Sure. I don't think it really matters. Yeah, whenever they. Put avoidance on that. JML, Hermit Yoda, Genite Luke is 100% versus Cuskins with the Omicron. Okay, so we can use that team against that. That leaves us Lord Vader and our other teams. We'll figure it out. All right, uh, let's Wampa this and then we'll figure out the rest. We still have two GLs left. We have Lord Vader. What is Lord Vader versus that uh, Cuskin team? Just out of curiosity, there are what else? Only three. Mm -hmm. 
Does it even matter? All right, here we go. Dun dun da 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 dun 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 da 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 dun 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 da 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 da. I know you're taking your turns. All right, that. Okay, let's do some roaring. Do some more roar or roaring. They resist it. Do some more roar or roaring. That's one death. That's one death for Newt. It's just you and me there, B1 battle droid. Lord Vader solos it, says Mr. Bone. That might be a better option, I think. All right, so we'll solo Lord Vader the Tuscans. Because then, then that frees up. We do, that leaves us with the mall team with Mandos if we wanted it for something, too. I, I kind of like that. Instead of using a full JML team, right? Why is the game freezing? Oh, Lord. You know what? Let's restart the game. That When that happens, it's like, mm, let's uh, restart. Got the victory screen, so that's good. There we go. Uh, let's reboot the game. <laughs> so we can solo Lord Vader the Tuscans, and that leaves us with JML Hermit Yoda for something. And then we have Genite Rev and Genite Luke for another team. And then we have all of our other stuff. So, yeah. I love it. it. Says this comp was one of the first questions I ever asked you, Ranger. Happy up, Ray Rock. Hey. So a little Lord Schmader action on the Tuscans. It, I love it. Keep those suggestions coming in. I'm not necessarily. I'll go with your suggestions. You know, we'll we'll see what's our best options. But uh, yeah, and I and I like doing JC on the Jedi Academy in the second part because again we get so many questions from you guys about JC and teams and matchups and things of that nature. So it's good for you guys to be able to see us put our words into actions and stuff like that. So yeah. When I get done here, I get to go rehab my arm. Yay! Then do some errands. Zoom took a shit on you? Well, let's just come back. The call's still open, fool. Unless the wifey uh, needs your undivided attention card, I totally. Really, what it is, I'm doing GAC and Karth is, is, is bored because he's so powerful and wise. That out of the way. Uh, okay. Uh, so let's do that first. Lord Schmeter. 54. Oh, no. I'm going to have to start climbing again. Oh, that sucks. Not that I really care at Squad Arena. Which dog is Zoom? Oh! <laughs> oh, goodness. It's, I got to ice it, heat it, all that stuff, LBC Rob. It is what it is, right? I mean, when you rip your arm up, that's what happens. It could be worse, right? It just is obnoxious to sit here with, you know, with my arm in a certain position and let it, let it rest and stuff like that. Although the good news is LBC, I have been getting back into working out and stuff. But that's been really good. All right. Uh, yes, this Lord Vader, the solo, this... Lord Schmader, yeah. I don't think we have anything evil. Uh, let's use this. Yeah, it gives them deflection resistance nasty, max health protection on offense. Yeah, I think this will be good. 
Well, if Karth is not coming back, I'll leave it open for Karthy. Uh, I overexerted it, Rayrock, so I kind of hurt it a little bit um, working out and being the jackass. Uh, Zarlo, man, you should jump in with us, man. I'll break down all the new Swuggo shit, dude. You should see my new costume. Actually, let me turn my camera on. Uh, let me go to cam. Cam select. That's the old zoom. Let's go to that. Put the Gato camera on. Here, let me show. Uh, uh, let's let's give Zyla a little taste of what we've been working on. So I have I and I actually have been wearing this costume for our charity stuff, and and I just wore it in MegaCon. Zylo, I'll give you a little taste of what I've been doing. Oh, it's so pretty. Oh, it's so pretty. Oh, look at it. It's so pretty. It's so pretty. This is uh, the helmet of the full Mando costume that I've been wearing everywhere, dude. I was just in Florida at Megacon, dude. You should have come out and seen it. Pretty dope. Look at that. It's so pretty. But yeah, um, Lurs is just not liking me. There it is. There we go. Now you guys can see me live. Uh, but yeah, so uh, the last thing I've got the jetpack, the dark saber, the rifle, the pistol, the whole works, man. Uh, and so I just did a really new paint job on it. Um, the last three things that I'm going to do. Uh, if you go to Discord to MegaCon 2025, I was wearing the new gray flight suit. I don't like. I'm going back to the brown one. Um, I got to get that other one really tailored to me. I've lost so much weight. It's just, it was too big on me. Um, the, the last three things that I'm going to do for this costume. And the only thing I have to do is a little touch ups with paint and stuff, but that's, no. um, I've got the whistling birds coming in the, the, the ones that go into the thing. So I'll have that, um, probably not for my event on May the 4th, but you never know. And then uh, I got the uh, there's a little digital display on the right one that's I've got coming in. I've got to get installed, and then I've got a new sound system I'm going to be installing in the helmet so I can sound like the Mando. And it's all for the kids. That's why I do all the shoes that I do. I hate them, but it's for the kids, and it's you can give them the full authentic. But I got the jetpack, the whole works, dude. So yeah, you need tentacles on the helmet to get his dialer's attention. I know, but you know, I think Dollar still appreciates that. All right, let's do some Lord Schmader action. Anybody want to see some Lord Schmader action? Lord Schmader interaction against the Tuscans. I guess we just go in and push buttons here. Yeah, I, and when I, for this May the Fourth stuff, I'll get some more pictures and and get that stuff in there for you there, uh, Zylo. So you can see it. but if you go to the MegaCon stuff, you can see some of the pictures there. And while we're at MegaCon, I got my photo with uh, Ewan McGregor and Hayden Christensen and Tamora Morrison. Uh, get met him and. Uh, that I looked amazing. I see how it worked out. I was like, you are so goddamn sexy to me. All right. Um, all right, Lord Schmader. Yes, I'm going in with not a full team. Don't have one. What else in three? All my other ones are on defense. That's all the holds we have. So, yeah. uh, I don't know. Let's say alien. Well, the good thing with the days is uh, yeah. Lord Vader <laughs> getting nervous.
Oh, Tuscans got an updated, dude. They're a pain in the ass. Yeah, I did. So exactly what I did there. Uh... I can start beating their ass. Uh... Unless you don't land the debuff and what did I? I thought I took out. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me look at something here. Did I take out the Tuscan Raider? No, was it the? No, that's the summons, right? That's the summons, right? This is the summons. Yeah, I'm going full auto. All right, one second. I'm getting a little nervous here. We're at minute 16 and there's not doing enough damage here and being able to get to the other guys. Not coming back. Please tell me he's not coming back. God damn. Oof. Getting a little nervous there. Like, God almighty. Their, their moves just take so much time, man. Okay, that worked. Okay, 59. I was getting a little nervous there, but Jesus. That's a little nerve-wracking. All right, let me reset. I'm getting problems with my setup. Ever since I dropped or did the Zoom thing here. Actually, let me hit stop sharing Zoom because nobody's watching. And then let me try this again. Okay, we're good. All right, and then there were three. All right. Hey, the wolf man over in Twitch. What's going on? Okay. The teams we have left and what we want to use against what? Who we gotta figure out who we want to use JML Hermit Yoda against. Um we have Jedi Rev and Cal. We also have Jedi at Luke team we can run. We can run the Cal team. We got Phoenix. We still have Maul. We can do Maul Mando team of some sort. So we do have Dash, Han, and Chewie. So I'm open to suggestion. Let's have Dr. Afra. So who do we want to JML here? Female Hermit Yoda, who can we go after? Hmm. Glad to have you here, Wolf. Who's the team that's going to give us the most gas? Hmm. I'm just looking at my option for sauna right now. Well, if swego.gg will cooperate with me.
Bad Batch has a 100% win rate versus that Hondo team. That doesn't seem right. Let me refresh this. No, it's it says Bad Batch eats... It eats it alive. We could Bad Batch this easily. Okay, and then that reads JML for one of the other ones. Yeah, we got Bad Batch. I think that Bad Batch this one. All right, so Bad Batch this, then who do we want to do the other stuff with? Um, it's a matter of who we want to JML. Boss, Grief, Mando, that's true. Uh, which one's the better banners? I'm, I'm down for either one. What is the more banner efficient one there? What else? Any three? Because we have used Grief Mando before. Boss Grief Mando. Whatever the team is. This Dr. Afro is only 91% with that. That match looks pretty good. It looks it, it's fifty. I think we go boss grief Mando. Uh, the the bad batch is eh, just under fifty seven. They're both good options here. Let's let's go bounty hunters here. Nass is the weakest. Oh my god. Well, in for a penny, out for a pound. All right now, you're the weakest. We can get Hondo out, but we can get Nest out. I'm just go after Sana now. Our next uh, assassination. It's just coming up now. Boop. Uh, my uh, my uh, two uh, characters are only gear 12, so I couldn't use a Datacron on it. So that's the only problem. They're Weddle Sitting 3. They're gear 12. I don't think Maul uh, with those two at gear 12 would be very good. Our Maul is phenomenal, but those two are not. Ubaj, what's going on? Question, do you see the service that you put on resources? Yeah, I didn't bother with it. You guys can. I talk directly to CGs, but and 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 I don't bother with the server. They have a question, they'll ask me, and I'll go on these kind of stuff. And they watch the stream, so but yeah, I mean, fill it out. The input is important. Let's form a communication, but yeah. So combinations we can use here. Yeah, seventy eight percent without the other crown. Let's go a little bit better. Um, we have Jedi Master Luke, Kermit Yoda. We can use it against there. We also have Cal with Basti, and we can go Jedi Revan, Cal, and Luke versus a team. I'm not. We just have to figure out which one we want to use against what here. I think those are our two best options. We do have Adrad. Uh, yeah, but if we have to go with a stronger team just to win this, like let's say that is a secondary option. There, what else twenty three? Because you know that CLS team can get. Uh, I can get a little clean. It's not about banner efficiency. We just need to clean cut win. 78%. If we have something a little bit better against it, you know. 
Uh, do we JML the resistance team? My KTSO, I don't think is, uh, K2SO, I mean, we have bays, but K2SO is not even geared up for it. Against the, so you want to go GML, Jonathan Luke, Hermit, Yoda versus the, the Finn team. Okay. I don't have K2SO, so I don't know how Bays would work against the CLS mm -hmm. team. I have Bays. I do have a tank. I just don't have K2SO. Yeah, versus CLS. Okay. So you want to go JML versus uh, the CLS team. All right, let's finish. Let's just use Jedi here. Let's go hard because we just want to get the one shot here. So let's just do this, you, and then Hermit Yoda. And that's at least us Jedi Revan, Cal, and something else, right? That's still pretty decent. Uh, we will use our Kron. And I do have the Jin Kron for uh, the Rogue One team. So if you want to put that in your considerations, I do not have K2SO. All right, let's just wipe this out. All right, that. I'm sending Lukey. Done. And then add Luki. He's in DI. How about another Luki? Apparently, he doesn't want to die. So, how about another Luki? Okay, that's annoying. Annoying as shit. Oh, they must have that. All right. Um, and then the Luki. I can't die until they're all equalized, so that's annoying. She's always going to constantly be in stealth. Radish and SRP is 100% resales the Gen Cron. Okay. You want to do Radish instead of Jedi Cal and stuff? Okay. Getting some bad lag. Let's just restart the game. I'm not playing that game today. Mm-mm-mm. Maybe the game went poopy. Maybe my internet went poopy. 
I'm gonna be tall poopy. Yeah, that's me. I'd like to log into the game now. You know, it'd be nice once uh, the PC stuff kind of, you know. Yeah, I don't sound poopy. Oh, that's nice. He attacked my fleets. I didn't even check to see if he done any attacks on the fleets. Excuse me. I don't think he has. He's probably waiting for me to do our stuff. Yeah, I don't think so. Look, rogue one. SRP, and then we'll add the Gen Cron. And we'll go after you. They really hate Jen, don't they? Oh, that's not good. Wait, what the hell? I gotta make sure I have Spark of the uh, thing up. Or we do our ultimate. Uh, okay, we do have the Spark of the Rebellion there. Where did I get that Spark of the Rebellion? Oh, that's got to go for it. She's got Spark of the Rebellion, but they keep taking it away. Now oh, I gotta go for it. Uh, no, nope. I just have to do it because this isn't. There we go. I just wanted to make sure. All right, we have 50 banner advantage here. Not bad. Not too schwabity. Let's go finish ships and let's uh, end the Jedi Academy on a, on a good note here. All right. Uh, yeah, we're going to do our stuff Chimera and then we'll do Leviathan and then we'll do Profundity versus Negotiator. So uh, this will get the Leviathan treatment. This will get the, um, the Empire treatment and then this will get the Profundity treatment. So, uh, yeah. Yeah, it's no pressure at all. <laughs> This either goes really well or it goes not good. Not you. You and then you and then you. It either goes really well or it goes uh, not good. So we'll see what happens. Give it the old college try, try to clear ships and then uh, take it from there. All right, pray for us. Yep. Thing. 
dodge. All right, let's bring it down. Stun going. Kill their buffs. Hard for him. Please kill. I did kill. God damn it. Get a heal. Hard into oh yeah, we need to heal him. Please live. Please live. Please let me take a turn. Please let me come on. Stop it. Let me take a turn. I need to heal him. Okay, let's get this guy in here first. And they'll have foresight. Okay. You'll take a turn, heal him. That's gonna be important. God damn it. Heal him, please, God. Thank you. Jesus. Get rid of him, please. Thank you. Uh, since we're going to blow up the tank, let's go start working on him. Thank you. Uh, start working on you, because we're going to do the ultimate here on the you, and do this on you. Perfect, now we got this. Just start doing basics with these guys. Yep, you take four. Do that, get your dodge up. Let's do that. They took over, that's fine. Uh, I, I could, I've got them set up. I'm just lazy. Uh, that. Do that again. Do that again. Didn't have a heal. We may lose a ship here. That happens. Basics, just basics. You're going to bring in another ship. I don't care because I'm going to go ham into him. It's basics. He's down to three. He might take out that ship. Oh, we lived. Okay. Just one. Do that. Now we just have the shuttle. We can just survive. Basic. Basic. That'll help. Okay. I can get a hill on, on that ship. That'd be great. And I'm not going to. This will be 68 banners, but it's clean. Kenneth Burke, what's going on? Cheers to you, my friend. Sometimes I on that uh, Jack Daniels, I you know Jedi Gothic says cheers over on uh, Twitch. Cheers to you, my friend. Cheers to both. Hey, win is a win. That's all we need right now. These fifty banners behind. Okay, Leviathan versus this, and then Profanity versus this. It's still it's still gross, but. Uh... Mm. You. God, no, not you. You, you, and... What can I use to counter out of Gear 11, Beck, Anakin, and Mace? Um, Quite a lot, actually. It's not a very powerful team. Gear 11, Beck, I guess the other two are Relic. I'm assuming they're Ray Rock. Hmm. Um, hmm. It would be good against that. That's not off of the. Is it Anakin and Mace? Relic 8 gas, Relic 7 mace. Uh, Inquisitors will eat that alive, dude. Sith, uh, let me see. Let me add a unit and mace. Inquisitors should still eat that alive. Uh, Dash, Han, Chewie's not very good, but it's 50%. Um... Sith Trio with Nihilus and uh, Savage. So Trey and Nihilus and Savage looks pretty solid. Um, 
Darth Revan is 100% versus it. And then GLs. Those are your options. Well, I, I love it. God. So, not Inquisitors, then your only option is a GL or you go the trio. That's it. You have Darth Revan team that can beat it, but you know, I'm not seeing anything besides a GL that does good. And of course, Bane, but yeah, you know, all the counters are that. That's all your options are. You have Maul, uh, you know, Super Pooper Trooper and uh, Gar Suxton. That's looks like it could do well, but outside of that, then no. But then I don't know what to tell you. Are you going to have to use the GL, rather? Because those are the only options you got. I mean, 50% with Dash, Han, Chewie. Um, you know, Jenna Revan, jo Jolie, Jenna at Luke is 50%. It's not great. So that's about it. If anybody else has a suggestion other than Darth Revan, then I don't know what to tell them. All right. Okay. <laughs> That's all I'm seeing. Now, it is a week Keller and Beck, so there's no Datacron on there. So, I don't know. What else? Any three? You... If he doesn't have the Datacron, would a Jolie team, Jedi team, probably do pretty well against that, I would think, right? Jedi River Bass, Jolie, or GMY. Okay, there you go. There you go. So, there you go. That'll be a good team for you to Uh, okay, let's do this fight. This is, and I don't need Chimitar because it's five, but we just need the win, so let's do this. Famous last words, watch, I need the Chimitar. That's what's used versus Malagas. Rock doesn't make it easy for us, does he? I love Ray Rocket comes in. I don't have that. I don't have that. Heal. Bring you in. Don't still got him. Christ. And our lamb bombs. Come on, man. This is getting stupid. Come on, heal him. Heal him. Uh, I swear. You know, when you get shit RNG, you just get shit RNG, man. Oh, was that ship? Oh my god. And then and then our life was over. So I'm gonna have to use profundity versus this, and then I gotta figure out what the hell I'm gonna use against that. That is absolutely diarrhea. Damn it. That just opened the door for him. Because we can't use our other fleets versus this executor.
fucking game. Not good. First order against uh, executor or um, negotiator there, Nathaniel Morgan. Of the two ships, the, the executor is the problem here. So we have to clear this. None of our other fleets may, has, a, has a chance against this. So we're going to have to profundity this. Then I'll have to piecemeal the other one. That really sucks that, that this has happened. It's trash. Against what? Executor? So here's the pickle. I know first order is not going to be very good against here. I, I've got to think what, what's going to be the better play for profundity here. Get the banners here against negotiator. But then I don't know. We can throw first order and resistance at, um, uh, at executor, but I just don't think it's going to mount a hill of beans. How do we just one shot everything, get the ships, have bad ship RNG, and just get fucked in the ass, man? I swear this game is just, it's uh, frustrating. It's really frustrating. I mean, that might be the play, get more banners here. All right, let's profundity this then. We'll give the old college try. It's been a hot minute since I've done that first order counter. Aldo fleet has a higher percentage versus executive than first order does. Okay, we'll give that a shot here. Give me a second. Let me get through this fight first. All right. Okay. Here we. I'm going to do this. I should get that on Anakin. That's fine. But now we have Anakin tagged. Okay, finish you off. Then we'll go after you. Then we start bringing in the.
This one's Plo. No, it's uh, it's Asoka. Hi, Shroka. I'm gonna shoot you in the face. In game. Okay. All right, so do this resistance with bomber Falcon oh. Got a gothic one the first round, however, this round there's just some still weak attack, but I cleared everything else. Did not try to do battles. Very nice, you got a gothic. Uh Poe with Zori, Evan Hawk. And resistance fighter, so we need Evan Hall. Yeah. Well, we had really shit RNG versus Leviathan versus Ex Executor. It may cost me this match. We're going to try to see if this can do it, but who am I targeting here? What else in three? I have not done resistance versus this. And yeah. we're going here with this fight. What else in three? What is the play here? Not that we have a great chance, but we got three fleets to try to take out this one, which is going to be ugly. Like that, my opponent dropped multiple battles, but he's got ships left. So we have a big advantage, and it just went down the toilet because, you know, the Leviathan. The... All right, we'll go after IG. Jesus Christ, I have no idea either. <laughs> this will be bad. If I can take out any of these ships or multiple ships, then that's a win because we can do first order afterwards. Yeah, it really does. All right, let's just go ham into IG. And they're going to do that. They're going after, and he's going to die. Get the fuck out of here. Just like that, we were toast. Hard to go to alt there with L73 when uh, they uh, stomp our ass. And he's already doing ships because he's already saw the drop. I fucking hate this game. There's no point. If he's going to clear ships, then there's no point. We've lost. We lost because of uh, shitty ass RNG. I'll try first order here, but it's not going to go well. One shot his entire board and because of shitty ass RNG on a fleet that 90% of the time wins sucks. This game, man. And then the CG just sits there and like, oh, this seems to be working as intended. Really? Yeah. Special forces. Um, yeah. What else we got here? Uh, Shimitar is actually not a bad play here. Uh, and I don't know how this battle is going to go because they're going to go first and it's going to suck. So I'm going to have to play this by ear. But yeah, really trash, trash game. Leviathan versus Executor should be an easy win. Nah, fam. All right, uh, we'll save that. Let's get uh, him started. Start getting the bases going. Let's hunt him. Luck luckily, we got a turn here. Uh, that really hurts. That hurts bad. Um, trip him. Call assist here. We do have a thing. Okay, so we can get some. Nope. Back to you. 
basic and take him out. Okay, that helps. Okay, ow. All right, let's get our tank in here. Yeah, he's going to take a turn. If I can get a shot on him, that'd be great. Do this. Big hit. Gotcha. This going. Got you stunned. Got you stunned again. The hounds. No, the hounds did not come in. Okay. Okay, almost there. Uh, no. Do that again. Hit him. Gotcha. Oh, that's going to be close because that really fucking hurt us. Well, let's just do some math here. He'll probably lost. But let's see. We did have a 52 banner advantage, so I don't know how this is going to play out. 2022 minus 1715 equals minus 219 equals. So he has to get an 88 to win here, so we're still okay. Let me do that again. 2022. Hey, Dob, what's going on? Thank you for the raid. Red three standing by. Red six standing by. Red five standing by. Yeah, right, so we had enough of a lead there. Yeah, he can't win. Standing by. Red October standing by. Helen Reddy standing by. Simply Red standing by. Oh man. Oh well, it's, we 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 are lucky that we had all the holes here on defense here that we had enough of a cushion that we can get through that. But Jesus Christ, that's really frustrating when that happens. I mean, it's no different. Hey, Jar Jar Binks. Uh, he says, uh, that's right, Jar Jar. But it happens. Welcome to the party, says Windows 73. That's right. Um, Yeah, but it's like with profundity. You go profundity versus uh, executor on that. And then you get dodge, dodge, no call and assist. And then they just they just sweep you. You know, it happens. It's just one of the things with ship RNG that we just have to deal with. Luckily, we had enough in our pocket to do something, but God's alive, man. That is that is so frustrating that you're perfect all the way to there. One battle, the RNG just goes, you know, and then it's like, okay. <laughs> what do men do against such reckless hate? So we gone way past what I normally do for Jedi Academy. So we're going to start wrapping it up. We had everybody and their mom just raid us, so let me, uh, Dop, I appreciate the raid, but, uh, yeah, after three hours of Jedi Academy, I'm ready to go raid somebody else, and, uh, I got to do re some rehab to do on the old arm, so, but glad to have you here, Raiders, thanks for stopping in. Um, oh, Tess is streaming right now. You guys want to go see the Court Jester of Star Wars Galaxy Heroes? We haven't, we haven't had a chance to ever raid, uh, Tess in a while, I haven't seen that dude on it this time, never. <laughs> so you did the same thing, Dop. <laughs> <laughs> I know, you just never know, right? You just go right into someone you don't know where they're, how long they've been streaming or what's going on with them. So you just do that. It is, but I mean, I've done that fight a million times, Nathaniel Morgan. You do the heel, you do that, and then it just, it just didn't work out. So we'll probably use the Dorito next time, but yeah, it is what it is. You're more far with the Dorito. But I've done that fight a million times and win it every time. It's like, God almighty. It's really frustrating. But we still got the win, so he'll clear malevolence, I'm quite sure of it. And then uh, we'll win by, still win by a good, good portion, so. All right, uh, uh, thanks to everybody for joining the Jedi Academy today. Uh, if you need any help with anything, you're more than welcome to message me and Karth any time, especially if you're a patron. Um, and then on top of that, um, yeah. More than welcome to message and then uh, hit the thumbs up, subscribe, do all that stuff uh, to support us. If you have any, um, if you need any videos and stuff on Zepho or Bo or it's all in our playlist and YouTube that's got all that stuff. 
It will really help you out. I can't guarantee you'll win every fight, but it'll basically get you to where you need to be. You can ask anybody that's uh, that's used it. It goes really well for them. So please check out those videos. It's there for your for you to, to guide you guys and stuff like that. Jar Jar Binks is now following. This is the way. Thank you. All right, we're gonna go raid the court jester because I haven't been able to raid that fool in a long time. The court jester swago. All right, and that's on Twitch. If you're on YouTube, then you can go to Twitch and follow there. Depressed Wampa, huh? I didn't really say how to use, but uh, thanks for being here as always, buddy. Try to shout as many people as I can, so yeah. But it's time for me to go ice my arm and then go put heat on it and then you know, there's other crap. So, all right, we're going to go raid the court jester. Everyone have a great rest of your day. Love you guys. Uh, and we will see you on Monday. I'll, I'll be doing a D&D tonight on RC Variety Gaming. But if you want to see me do some more Swago stuff, then go on here on Monday. Mary J is trying to get a joke in. Just took care of that. And now we can go raid. Now that I've timed him out. I know I made your day.